what is going on boys and girls we are back with well some more out of war you guys know what's going on what you guys have to be around here today sorry i was a little bit late i was trying to catch up on sleep last night but there was a lot of things going on so i was a little uh preoccupied but uh man I need to catch up on that sleep this week get my schedule kind of back in and uh get it rolling dudes but uh dudes it's patch day today patch day we're here finally <laughs> Yes, it is patch day, and uh, well, there's been some excitement today in the Discord from when I looked uh, when I looked on there, and um, yeah, it's a little it's a little weird. Some people are having some issues with it. Other people are not having any issues. We're gonna talk about that today. Uh, thank you guys very much for coming and showing all your support uh, yesterday for the Q and A, well as the preview video coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed those. I know a lot of you guys are just like smashing in the hours or trying to get them in. Today, what we're going to be doing on the stream is we're going to be starting a, well, a new mine and uh, kind of take a look at everything that has to go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch and kind of go through the default mode of the game and kind of try to figure out where we can maybe do some hypothetical talking about the game, maybe some theory crafting as well. Maybe what you guys would like to see coming out of maybe the leveling and progression system that's on the well roadmap being one of the later patches so we can kind of talk about a lot of those things today and uh get into those so uh i'm gonna do a go ahead and do the quarry hills obviously we're gonna jump into the new map we're gonna name this one uh don't delete don't kill my save <laughs> don't don't kill my save what's up mister how you doing man all right let's get into creative mode now we're going we're gonna go default obviously so we're going to have the million dollar loan, but we're going to start small. I want to go a little small, maybe start kind of stripping through there a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's see here. Don't kill my save here, buddy. That'll, that'll, that'll give me a reminder not to just completely delete this thing. Slow. It's been a slow last couple days for, uh, for YouTube here, guys. So apologies. They also do me going on the weekend, but the weather is getting absolutely beautiful. Hopefully you guys are having some beautiful weather. I know we are. It's not quite going to the lake or the beach day, but, you know, getting out and getting that early morning walk and stuff like that. It's been pretty nice, man. This weather is absolutely great. All right. Let's see here. Where am I starting? Where do I want to start? Go ahead and run down into these hills. I think, you know, I think I'm going to simulate. What, what do you guys think? What do you guys think I should simulate? Should I simulate running the, the bedrock or should I simulate running this coal... Coal and gold. Like, like we have this massive bench over here looking sprawling out across here. Yo, what's up, Corey? How's it going, man? Good day. All right. So we have this area. I'm th I was thinking about possibly like, okay, if we're going to be mining this save for quite a while, I was thinking about possibly my first cut's going to go. I was like, you know, looking at it and I kind of wanted to talk with you guys about it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking starting like up here and starting the bench up here and working my way down this area here. You know, so going, going this way down this bench, right? So cutting along, along here and kind of moving down through the, uh, the side. We also have some other ores over here so we can kind of cut through this area and go down here. I think you need to go shopping first to see what you can do. Um, I already know roughly what I can do. I just need, I pretty much just need basically a sorter or a trommel at first with a, with a wash plant. So yeah, if we cut down through here and chomp all that out, man, that'll be a really nice cut. Maybe we can merge that with this gravel slash bedrock bed here, right? Just convert it, blast it and get down here and strip down in and kind of move in. Cause it, like, it looks like, like I said, it looks like the miners, um, you're going to be using all the machines. Um, it depends. Not right off the bat, no, because I won't have the money to it. So the main thing is getting up and running and getting operational with the smallest amount of pieces as possible. So it looks like we're going to have to do... Oh, no, I might go front end loader, but I might not. What's up, Bobo? Chat, it's rainy, a bit of cold here in Ottawa. Doing good, Corey. That's good here, man. And what's up, Locksmith, dude? Yeah let's, uh, yeah, let's start up here. Let's start up on this uh, this top area here. Got to kind of survey what's going on. Where we're going to set the mine up. Thinking 
we obviously need a place to load and run trucks so we are not going to be using the deform tool all right so there's a little rules to this save all right we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna apply some ground rules here even though there's no leveling and progression system currently in the game we're gonna put those on ourselves so i am not gonna use these tools bye i am not gonna use these tools if i absolutely absolutely have to because it's a 100 percent necessity but we're going to try not to use those but what we do need is we do need a recycle so we'll go ahead and get that first and to... oh i don't got no money that's right we, we gotta take a loan forgot i'm so used to playing on uh creative mode right now or my other save, which has like billions of dollars because everything was super out of whack. Well, let's go ahead and well, let's get a shopping list for a sec. I'm going to go for a shopping list. We got to figure out what we're going to be running. And that being said, we got to make sure that we have, well, our wash plant. So we're going to go into production. And let's see here. So our wash plant is generally really cheap. We know we need that. The trommel not really going to be needing that right at the moment maybe we'll see what we'll see what the funds look like I mean, these are not very expensive so we need to add a conveyor obviously we're going to need to add a hopper right and i'm going to grab a couple building blocks and we're just going to set this part up first so go ahead and go into concrete some of these things were changed here at the last minute guys so we're it's a little um do even for me to play with just grab about 20 of those grab a couple concrete floors and see what we need uh, for money wise now and we are going to need to take a loan i'm just going to take a uh, max loan let's just go right into debt let's go can't wait for the leveling and progression yeah same here man I absolutely agree, dude. That's going to be, it's going to be great. Okay. So obviously you have to take a 30% interest on all loans. Money is a lot more hard to come by now. So whoo, we got to set up. We got to make sure we get our setup and we can just run and pound this, uh, this pay dirt and coal and all these other mixed nodes into the, uh, into this box here because it's absolutely brutal. Check out. And, you know, I think to save me money on building blocks, I mean, building blocks are relatively cheap. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it kind of over. Right, so just use the natural land as a kind of a way to set this up. We don't want to have to use any extra blocks that we don't need. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, take these away real quick. Let's go ahead and snap the hopper to this. A lot of people have been having issues with this stuff. Just snap it to the, the, the sides of the block here All right this is how i always build mine so we're going to snap it to this All right okay now we can come over here and we don't really need to add anything crazy here but we need to add a little bit of a lip go into first person make it a little easier just something for the truck to back up onto or the front end loader we need a few more blocks here. Let's keep it really cheap, though. We're also going to need about... I want to say we're going to need about four of these. Five, just in case. And we're also going to need these concrete half ramps. Two. Those. We're going to add about four. Show you why. I actually have to go back and use blocks, but I'm not too sure exactly what they changed for the snapping today. Can't snap to this i'll have to add a block it only lets it go to the top side so you are gonna have to come in here and add a block underneath of this take these away and this is all a work in progress guys for their for their snapping and building and stuff like that so it is we're just gonna add a block onto here certain things don't snap together and other things do now to bridge this gap we're gonna go ahead and this like that we're just going to use the half block right in there because the other block will snap to the bottom. So this half will stop snap in. So without using the ground deformation tool 
can't get this. Sometimes where it's a pain. Come on, buddy. You know you want to. Well, I might have to come over here with an excavator and dig that out first. Since we're not using the tools, I might have to put a little bit of a... in there, you know? Like, come on, buddy. Do you want to, Snake? Oh, there we go. Get it? Perfect. Thank you. Holy heck, I didn't want to dig that out. <laughs> All right, now we have... So this is also something new that was just hotfixed in last night. And that we can now snap these angled pieces to the actual hopper itself now. Which is really nice. It couldn't do that before. And they just fixed that this morning. And see, the line is perfect. So, heck yeah, dude. And let's just snap a block here on the side. That one's going to be open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snap a block to this side. Here. Just for now. I have like a placeholder. All right, that should be enough to go in there so we can dump anything in. We're not, I shouldn't lose anything. And now we have our friend, the sorter. Well, and now we're good to go. And we could dump our uh, thing, turn, make an, a bell piece and put a wash plant in. Okay. Right, so too bad there's no real scouting vehicle to search for better uh, places on the map. I agree. That'd be uh, that'd be awesome to uh, get some type of scouting vehicle or something like that. Uh, right now, I know from you guys' questions in the North Modding Company's Discord this morning, I woke up and started reading all your guys' stuff. Maybe a lot of you guys are having problems with crashes and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and test that out for me. They don't kill my save. Let's go ahead and save and. No oh, crash. Okay. I know a lot of you guys are also having... There's so many weird problems that can happen for so many different reasons, right? So, now we have this little area we got to mine. So, technically, we can make money, but we have to do one other thing first. Let's go ahead and connect something to this, and we'll just make a nice little small wash plant. All right, so we're going to go... I'm not even worried about the equipment because I know I have enough money to get something to haul pay to that box. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stay with a... Maybe not build a full complete wash plant. Let's go ahead and add a couple of these. Left and right. And let's go hopper. And we're going to go wash plant. Because that's we're going to be running a lot of coal. We're going to be running a lot of pay dirt. So. Buy those. And the bottom goes this way. And since we already have a nice natural slope. Let's just put the wash plan on it. Like so. Oh, hey, whatever. Uh, we're going to come over here and uh, dig that out. So, I mean, we don't really have to, but what do you guys think? Should I dig it out? Should I sim digging it out? Or should I just plop and go? <laughs> plop and go, dude. We could do it. We could come over and dig it out, or we can just plop it in like that, and we are absolutely... Good to go. We can drive and do. Thank you much for the uh, sub, man. Appreciate that. Oh, I actually do not have. My Turn that all off for uh, streams. So. It, yeah, I had to turn. Wait, when I hit this button, does it turn yours off too? One second. I can control Amanda's computer. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have storage now, right? And yeah, so we'll just run it like that. That looks okay to me. That looks kind of nice. It looks like it's a nice little wash plant, right? It's a good little wash plant. It'll work for now. I think we can, uh, we can do a conveyor, though, and then we'll do another hopper. So we'll go straight conveyor right then go ahead and plug this one in rob thank you much for remembering up brother appreciate that man uh as well as i would like to apologize yesterday for anybody who was watching I, we didn't try to make it through you had to subscribe to leave a comment so we meant to actually turn that off and um for some reason it just didn't turn off when i clicked the button so um yeah sorry about that dudes we're trying to force you guys to uh sub up to uh talk in the chat last night we'll make sure we don't have that on for the next q a 
um, as well as anybody who made any don donos and notifications so like generally during events like that where I have developers on and I'm talking to them I turn off all notifications and pop-ups and things like that so how's it going what's up Madre I'm back welcome back bro appreciate that man okay but we need a hopper now or another container just another container go ahead and add that and this will get us up and running just like that any other ores will go through and just bloop right into the storage and then we have our anything else will go into the wash plant so we can start collecting our gold diamond and everything else this is the intro to all basic wash plants right here guys this is what you're looking for if you want just a basic 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 setup to run pay dirt and everything like that everything that comes out of it anything will go through the wash plant so if we bring up the menu buy we come down to the wash plant menu self pay dirt goes in and dirt gold diamonds jade come out you think i'm gonna aggravate me tonight what do you mean Vibe that dude hell no okay so we got get these all out of here for now and let's now we gotta figure out how to get some uh, money into our thing there we could use a front end loader or we could use a rock truck i think we should use a front end loader at first i'm honestly thinking front end loader because we have a lot of stuff here we can scrape and move i think we should use the front end loader get a good beefy front end loader instead of watching dopey i'm gonna hang here today oh man yeah, I think we should start scraping and opening up ground on this top side right here. I think we should scrape from here and get all of this flat and try to do it with the front end loader so we can start scraping this stuff up and opening up the front of the cut because the front of the cut comes all the way over here. All right, so start pushing this way and loading all this in. Right, so we got to get rid of this hump. We got to start making a flat part, and we got our cut going this way. So, yeah, I think I think a front end loader is our best bet. Let's go ahead and go into vehicles. Vehicles. Let's take a look at the uh, loaders. Loader. Hmm. Should we go for the five ten, or should we go with something a little on the smaller smaller side? Like not smaller, I guess I would say, but do we go with the 510 or the 501? I normally just go with the 510. You guys think, chat? Go with the 510? Throw it down, chat. Let's go. 510, what do you guys think? Should I go with the smooth or should I go with the, the rippers? Go big or go home? I mean, we got the money, right? Go 510, 510. Okay, it seems like it's pretty unanimous. 510 it is. See, right? So now in the prog the progression of the game, like because of kind of what we're talking about here as well too. For me personally, doing a playthrough, I don't feel like we should be able to just go right to the biggest one. Even if you take a million dollar loan, there's no real penalty. Right, so... Alrighty, that well that was fast okay that's what the hot fix was so what we're gonna do is we're also gonna jump out of my vehicle i don't like to save while i'm in vehicles and we're gonna put save in before we start any work save don't kill my save bro save is quick zoom and we're good to go Woo, almost fell off that ledge. Holy. Oh, it's hard. It's tough to get in there. Any scoop will be a bonus. Any dirt into this wash plant. Man, we're going to need to get a roller for sure. I think I need I think we should get a roller too cuz it'll just make me go faster. We're doing the wiggle today. You're going to start a new one with me, man? What 
up, Stuart. Just use this thing as a dozer because we don't have the money to buy anything else. So we'll kind of use this to, uh, since we're not using deform tools, it'll be um, kind of a bumpy start here in the beginning. Oh, <laughs> okay. That little lip is a little, uh, a little bumpy there. All right, let's, let's run a little bit first here and then uh, we'll take a look. Same here to start a new one. It is. I mean, I think I mean, a lot of us had millions and millions and millions of dollars. Money didn't matter, right? Starting over again, now money matters. Now it's like, okay, now let's set a $10 million goal. You know what I mean? Because everything's not crazy, right? The prices aren't absolutely nuts. And I'm just bumping and jumping here on this. All right, anything going into the box is, is, is pleasant here. Nice little basic hopper. It was really relatively easy, so no no issues, no no headaches. Uh, I am sorry for the people that are having some issues, dudes, honestly. If your computer might not be able to handle certain things, or you might be having some hiccups, or things like that. But as you can tell, I'm pretty much doing the same thing it did during the Q&A. So there was a couple small little things that uh, Christian's fixing. So man, we, we need dirt lock back, though. I'm going to tell you that much, man. We need some type of manual dirt lock. I'd rather have manual dirt lock than auto dirt lock. You know what I mean? All right, let's just make sure everything's working. Our sorter is sorting. There's obviously nothing in there because we're just running bedrock. Not bedrock, but we're just running a normal pay dirt. Or could just be dirt too, so. Damn, just dirt. How do you switch between the inventory slots? You're going to have to uh, set up a, um, a hotkey for that. I set mine up to one, two, three, four, five, six. At least we have a little coal in here. Come on, lock into place, please. There we go, because we're going to have to swing this thing around. We're going to lose half of our stuff. Boom, there we go. I believe we are just running dirt. It should be pay dirt though. We'll see. That you have to run a lot to get a lot, because you gotta think the ores that come out of your wash plant are some of the most expensive ones, like diamond and uh, gold and things like that, right? So you're gonna need a lot of run a lot of that stuff. Oh gosh. Holy bumpy. Okay, we're gonna need to uh remedy that here shortly. Could have to get a roller or something, or. Hey right, guys. Okay. Gonna be a bumpy start. Gotta do a lot of this uh, ground prep. Oh, there's some coal. We want that. Come on, give me some of that coal. Okay, don't. Things jumping around everywhere, right? Um, I take it the roller's working properly again. Um, I have to take a look at it real quick because I was so focused on other things uh, this week. Now that I'm actually home and not out of town and trying to record the videos and stuff like that, I can definitely take a look, look at that stuff a little bit further, but. All right, let's 
Go down. Let's try to scoop down here. Come on, give me a good scoop. And not lose everything, dude. Holy turbo. Well, it's going to be a mess. It is what it is. Here, let's move this a little lower. I'll see if I can just yeet these things into this hopper. All right, no, never mind. I mean, there is another way I could do this. I could just make a dirt ramp and just keep pushing it off the hill into the trommel. Into the, into the hopper. <laughs> Let's get this dozer out and just start pushing. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. Just dirt. I think we might just be in dirt. Getting anything else here. I don't know. If, I think this might. No, this shouldn't just be dirt, right? We've paid dirt. We're just not getting lucky. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the, uh, let's see if we can purchase the roller. See if we can buy a roller here. And we are need factor. Got left. I think we might have that much. Try. Oh, close. There we go. Going pretty good to find. How you doing, man? What's up, white? And you're gonna get a loading symbol now when you guys pop in. That's just so that the vehicles can uh, orientate themselves so they hopefully don't fall through the ground. No, 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 no. Okay. Phew. Right, let's make ourselves a little easier here while we're uh, working. Ah, dropped your Bronco off at the shop, huh? Let's just give this a little bit of a uh, smoothing here. coal now we are starting to collect some coal uh there seems like there's not very high amounts of other things in this uh material so we're just gonna keep pushing a bunch of yards and getting this stuff moving we need like i said we need to dig in here a little bit so we're gonna back up right at an angle we're gonna back right up to this thing here drop the blade i'm just gonna try to push in right here Yeah, we got to move this stuff anyway, so like I said, we're not really we're not really going for like grab everything and smash and grab right now. We're just going to slow start, slow roll it. So we're not using any of the deform tools or anything like that. So all I can really afford is what I have. But we're just going to run and we're going to set up our base camp here, hopefully today. Kind of do a little bit of a uh, simulated gameplay. We're just pushing, we're just pushing what we can through the plant right now to try to scrape out this area. For anybody that knew that's coming in. So we're starting off with a small plant, even though we could afford everything, we're not, we're just not going to jump right to everything maxed out. So. So we're just dumping all this in. We're going to take as much as we can. We got a lot to clear. Yeah, the dozer would make that really nice, but the problem is, is that if I buy a dozer, well, I'm not gonna be able to afford anything else. 
So front end loader seems to be the best uh, bet. And then once we make enough money, we can definitely buy something to haul it. But we are bumping and losing a ton of dirt right now, so. Here, Let's just keep smashing and then we'll, we'll roll it over. Yeah, this is just mainly dirt up here. We have some mixed other things in here, so we'll, we'll be able to get a little bit of cash as we go. Hopefully it's enough to pay for fuel, right? Hopefully it's enough to pay for fuel. You just carved a massive trench for no reason with the dozer. <laughs> Happens. See, this is what I'm kind of more into playing right now is because. No, I haven't bought the fuel tank yet. Hopefully I have enough money. If not, we better get some money, right? Better work hard. I'm going to have to sell that, uh, that thing over there. The roll, <laughs> sell my roller. No, sell the roller, crap. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see how everything's going here. I think we put a, maybe a little bit more coal in here. Still about the same. Ah, damn it. Down here, it's a little nice. Yo, what's up, bull? Yeah, we're mainly just hitting dirt. There's there's like nothing coming. Get a little lower, we'll start getting some uh some better pay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick to only um using Try and run like Christian was saying yesterday. You'll be able to make money just running this pay this dirt up here with the mixed nodes. So this is gonna be a nice test for the uh, the geology, right? Like and balance tuning and stuff like that. It'll give me a lot better of an idea of maybe some tuning options later on down the road. Like when I'm just you know when we're talking about the game, theory crafting the game, I mean, we all love to do that. All right, let's go ahead and just keep on. Smoothing this out. And we'll slowly be we'll slowly be working our way out away from this uh, box. Looks like we have a lot more coal over here, so that's good. Yeah, I wanted to get away from all the mega money, right? The you know, everybody was, you know, when we did the whole lithium being crazy priced i want to kind of get away from that right so and this looks like a nice natural slope to get down there if we need to pop some explosives to maybe grab you know when we when it's time to maybe grab a rock truck we can make a nice little road down here get down into the uh the bigger cut down there so we can start blasted rock i thought i just turned you off there parking brake Right, so let's go ahead and I want to use this as a an area now so we can start going this way. This is all high, so let's go ahead and it looks like we got some other color in there. Okay, there's my rock. We're we're close. We're close to, to pay dirt. We just gotta go down a little deeper. That's all right, no big deal. Oh, we gotta do something with this. 
And I'm not really trying to like eat and delete everything. You know what I mean? So. So let's find a layer here and just kind of follow it. Like right here. I think that was a good gouge in the uh, thing. We're going to beat this 500 up. We're going we're gonna to beat this thing up, man. This thing's going to be broken by the end of the day. Oops. One notch just went over. All right, so we have this little ridge line here. Let's... We've got, we've got, we got to get a wall face, right? We got to get down to bedrock. We got to get a wall face. Front end loader, wall face is always a nice combination. Go ahead and push, 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 push. And until I hit this wall here. Me. Hopefully I'm having a great day, man. It's beautiful here today. Yeah, I like how dirt lock worked there. The auto dirt lock worked all right. Nice little wash plant action working on over there. It works good. So how do you guys feel about it? You can be honest. How do you guys feel about the uh, geology changes uh, to the game? Like the addition to the new plant stuff and the uh, explosive changes. All feedback is good, man. You know, guys don't gotta be worried, man. Christian's a really cool dude. And it's just general feedback, right? Constructive crit criticism. How do you guys feel about uh, the progression of, you know, some of the changes and tweaks? Because obviously this didn't have a, this patch didn't have a ton of stuff in it, but there was a lot of underlying things that uh, came along with the patch that uh, maybe it might not be noticeable on the surface, but you guys have been playing, have probably noticed the bigger difference when you're running the dirt, right? Especially on this map, right? Where you're looking at these nodes and they're just like, okay, well, where's our nodes? <laughs> you know, everything has value to it now. So that's where I find the big change for myself personally was the biggest change, was the actual, how every dirt piece stays its own thing until it's sorted or changed or converted. That's what, that's what I like the most. Yo, what's up, Anthony? All right, so we're sitting a little high here. Let's just go ahead and do a nice little scrape. Help my bucket up a little bit more. Come in here and fill in some of these lows that I just made. And as I come back out, it'll kind of fill everything up a little bit, which is fine. Then we'll run it over with the roller and smooth it out. And hopefully we can stay kind of, whoa, relatively smooth today. All right. How much money do I have? First off, how much? Okay. I have, okay. 71,000. We need, there's one thing we need to buy. We need to buy fuel. Cause if I run out of fuel, that is like doom. Buy, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to. Gonna put this thing right here. All right, nice little place for it. Really dangerous. But hey, you know. Excited to see the new patch, man. Yo, what's up, Sens? All right, let's keep chomping this out here. Use this thing like a dozer. Push, 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 push. Get a nice full bucket. We're mainly just moving dirt right now, so. Yeah, nice little setup. We should be able to make some cash with this. We already have the biggest loader. 
Oh, we gotta pay off our loan and stuff like that to get. We gotta get money, right? So. There's our wall face. We'll follow that line. To get a little bit more traction here. Can anybody help me? Uh, depends on what type of help you need, my man. If you need a hug, we can help you with that. If you need uh, some help with the game, we can help you with that too. Hit us up, man. Never know. Try our best to help you out, bud. Some days I could use it. And you know what I mean? Like some days it's like, you know, get a hug, you know? Just hug it out. All right, let's go ahead and bring uh, Roller Boy back in. And before we do anything else, make sure you guys yell at me and tell me to save often. All right, and hopefully we get through today without any any issues and we get a good, nice start to this mine site and get a lot of work done. Okay, brand new player. Okay, good starting point. Thank you very much. And you got a giant nose roller. Flatten, 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 flatten. How many people are playing right now? Hands up. Oh. <laughs> okay, apparently the front of the uh the thing wants to to dig all of a sudden. It's like I want to dig too. <laughs> the front end loader's not the only thing that can move dirt. I can't too. Look at me. Did I take it the patch fix the roller? No, <laughs> put your hand up in the air. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. I know a lot of people are starting. You see, it's just a little weird with the voxel sometimes how it reacts. So it's not really, it was never really technically broken. It's just when you have other pieces underneath it that are not um, quite compacted all the way. You're trying to wait for the career mode. Uh, I understand a lot of people really want to wait for that. I can, I can understand that and, and uh, definitely respect that. You know, a lot of people want the game to uh, be completely working career mode, etc. right? So. When you put stuff in a hopper, okay. It tells me to buy a hopper and a storage, but when I put stuff in the hopper, I lose it. Okay. So the storage is only for let me explain this real quick. Yeah, I have this set up here. The storage is, you're not really supposed to be storing stuff in the storage, right? Like this, you're not really supposed to be putting stuff in your storage. This is just a container for ore. It's a container for ore. So you want to run these things as in out from the outputs. So see, how I have the conveyor sorter here and then I have a piece going to it. That means the good ores are going to be going out and they're going to be coming into the storage box and the other ones it's not so it's not like a general storage for your stuff so it can be a little confusing and then i have my bottom output with a wash plant and then i have another storage down here which is collecting dirt but i'm not really running pay dirt which has gold and stuff like that in it storage is more of just like a general storage so we're starting to get some other ores in coal and I could actually, uh, let's see, go to sell container and it actually tells me my value. So I've already made 3.3 K, right? So we're going to go ahead and sell that back it up. We're going to put it down here in a separate pile so we can see how much we made today. As we start the new mine site. So, Hey, we're, we're making our fuel money. <laughs> we're making fuel. 
We're good to go. Put me here in this abandoned quarry to uh, do something because they punished me because I was underground mining and the, the mine collapsed and, you know, we accidentally uh, forgot a couple homies in the mine site, you know. So they kind of demoted me to this old abandoned mine to see if I could make money again. I'm over here by myself. You got this giant freaking crappy crater of a of a map and all they did was airdrop me and some food and some parts and <laughs> oil shale Yeah, the tutorial is very basic. There's not much to it. It's pretty, the game is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it can be a little complicated uh, when you're trying to get into it, but everything has a breakdown and tells you what everything is for right now. That's, I, I'm going to try once a couple more things. Not try, I'm, not, I'm just going to do it. Once the game gets a little bit more balanced and polished, I'll be definitely making like complete playthrough workthroughs and things like that. But right now it's very... I mean, I could, it's just, everything's changing constantly, right? So it's like, I, I, one thing I hate is I hate making content and then having to make it right again next week, right? Because, you know, it's, everything was, so the game is being changed massively, right? So I gotta get down to that. Still gotta keep rolling down. Even if we keep going that way, we'll just hit the bedrock because it'll rot or hay dirt. So we're making money just running crap right now with this new uh, geology patch, right? Because we're up here pushing in some of these areas, making a little cash up here where we're going. Loader's just scraping this stuff off. dropping this stuff everywhere why don't we today yeah i'm excited by looking at the roadmap man he did tweak the roadmap a little bit so it looks like you know obviously he was he was he was saying yesterday that the controls and dirt improvements will be coming first after this current patch and then it looks like we're going to be going underground so oh all i can say is i'm excited dudes that should be bringing some more equipment so i know a lot of you guys are looking for new equipment i saw you guys uh i put that poll up right so that was pretty much just a roadmap poll kind of see where you guys and, and it's crazy that uh progression and leveling came up above machinery you guys kind of shocked me on that one you guys really actually did shock me on i think you shocked christian as well too because normally it's equipment 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 Women. And you guys were like, nah. <laughs> you guys are like, we want we want leveling tree. We want talents. We want you know. It's like, oh, okay. Damn, that was a that was actually quite a bit of a shocker. I mean, we, we all like the game. We all like the equipment already as it is. But I think a lot of us are just on the same page now where it's just we just want more core mechanics to make the game feel like a grind. Get that grind going. Kind of like we're doing here today, but could you imagine if we had to start in like mega small equipment? We were broke. Maybe someone wouldn't give us a million dollar loan. Maybe they only give us a five hundred thousand dollar loan. We gotta start with like a backo or something, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> we're gonna give Defiant a wheelbarrow and a shovel, dude, and tell him to go make money. <laughs> Where did you guys start from on your saves, dude? I started with a, a bucket and a shovel, dude. <laughs> Now I have like five loaders and a $10 million mine. But I can, I can say right now, it's definitely needing a lot of work, lots of lots of work to go into that, right? You know what I mean? It's just a lot of work. 
it's uh it's too many iterations and every time he does an iteration sometimes he has to make it to where he torches all the, the old saves just for the better of the good and i know a lot of people get mad when uh their saves get torched but uh sometimes it's just for the best dudes This one didn't need to, but you just don't really get the full benefit of the uh, the new geology patch unless you're playing on this map itself, All right? So, the day the days of of the days of just smashing out massive huge nodes is over with, guys. How do you guys feel about that? Did you guys like the mega money or, you know, getting more pay dirt now? Yes, we are hitting some more pay dirt. So we'll check that wash plant here in a second. start pushing up against this mountain so we can start running more pay dirt because all this up here is just oh poor 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 we're abusing it i know what i'm looking for first bucket load 50 million no i mean like an actual five gallon bucket and a shovel like <laughs> you're a, you're a little confused on how the blasting uh, converts the uh, dirt and stuff like that it is a little bit it's obviously a lot different right it still it still seems like it needs a little bit of tweaking but there's so many other things that were kind of uh coming up so from what i could tell and what i can tell you guys so it seems like it need to it still needs a little bit of uh needs a little bit of love just dig up one 400 carat diamond <laughs> all right we're gonna leave it up to you guys chat we're gonna tell you guys to say uh, check the box there were you guys and oh and save too you guys gotta remind me to save check the box save and we're making a little progress we're getting a nice little work area over here going on we can't say hit the bypass because there's no like running water or anything so <laughs> Did you set your autosave just as a reminder? No, I don't do I don't run autosaves. Uh not on not on early access games, I don't. I just do manual saves. Autosaves on early access games tend to have problems, so. TNR farming, dude. Split love the channel. For the reason I have the game and I love it, man. Dude, thank you much, man. And uh glad you're enjoying it, dude. Not sure if it's working right or not. I will I will test that a little further here. Uh, this week um, and uh, see what's going on but I generally have not had any problems with saving or anything like that like as you tell a lot of the stuff I'm doing already today um, a matter of fact I'm actually the version of the game I am on I'm actually on I didn't I actually didn't even update the game today so there's two hot fixes that are out that I'm not even playing on and I kind of wanted to do that today to show people because there's a lot of I got a lot of DMs about uh, the game this morning like oh split the game's broken what the hell blah 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 and uh, well working fine for me like it's it can be computer side dudes like it could be a lot of different things. Okay, now we're getting that nice lighter colored stuff we have a little bit of a dirt layer up here still so it's not just right down the bedrock it makes you work for it a little bit yeah a lot of stuff a lot of a lot of bugs that are coming out right now are our operator air um it's okay dudes it's it's okay to go you know you know honestly dudes don't feel bad i know there's a lot of you guys that will jump out and report something like it's a bug and then go oh man user air Right, and then you just get embarrassed. Don't worry about it, man. It happens to everybody. Honestly, it really does. It's okay. Just make sure you don't get like super pissed and start raging out. 
then find out it's user error, and then you're like, well, shit, I can never show my face again. I just forgot to turn my damn HUD on, you know? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> just forgot to turn my HUD on, bro. <laughs> no, yeah, it's uh, it happens, guys. It happens. And sometimes you'll be, you know, sometimes you'll, a new patch will come out, and you'll just be like, everything is because of that patch. And it never happened before. And it's like, eh, it's not necessarily the case all the time. So sometimes you got to give it a little bit of a go. Sometimes you just, just restart your computer. Sometimes it will help. Especially after you patch a game, right? You're starting restarting your computer can sometimes help. And, um, you know, making sure everything is good on your end. And then other times it's 100% the game's fault and you just yell at the developer, right? So I'm with you dudes. Trust me. <laughs> I feel you. I know. Hey, look, we're making we're making a little progress into there. We're starting to see some uh, different colors start to show up. That's good. As well as we're clearing a little area up on top of this uh, mountainside. All good operations start with a. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, we actually got some more. We're starting to hit more of the box, right? What do we got over here? It's running. Oh, hell yeah. We, oh, we got rubies. We got diamonds. We got gold. And we got jade. All right, so let's see what we... uh Go ahead and uh, sell some of this stuff here. So these eight rubies are worth 1.5K. 2.7. Oh, nice. So we made pretty almost exactly what we did there. And we have 5,000 dirt, which is worth five. Now we're up to 10K already. We made 10,000 already. You get lost? Well, man, have no fear. I'll make sure we uh, keep you up to date, dude. You know what I mean? But we're already making some good change. And we already made $10,000, right? So... To me, that is like when I first started the other game, I was like a millionaire in like 20 minutes, right? The last save I was on with the big mine in the big tunnel, right? So I was already a millionaire in the first hour, like multi-millionaire, right? So it's I really like the balance changes in this new patch. Pat, this is this feels good, right? Like just running dirt like this. It's not all about just for me. It's for me. It's not all just about running high value pay or or you know what i mean i want to i like the progression of things right i like to be able to go okay this is my mindset right now it looks basic but watch what happens in the next 15 or 30 hours of gameplay right and the money's not really necessarily a a win factor for me especially right now when there's no real progression it's all about progressing the mine it's all about um you know just Working the the uh, cuts, finding a good cut pattern, and just the overall progression of building that mine. It was insane cash if you ran right across a lithium node right off the bat. Yeah, twenty five hundred dollars per piece, right? It was absolutely insane. Right, so we're starting to hit this. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look at this here. So we have a little bit of just dirt on top. But see, dirt actually equaled quite a bit of money. It was still $3,000 for 5,000 pieces. So we still made money running it, right? That was more than enough for fuel and things like that, especially running this big beast. And we're cutting in. We're starting to start. We're starting to see some of this lighter color stuff. So that's dirt. This is pay dirt, right? So as we cut into this hill, we're going to start opening up pay dirt if we keep going this way, right? So if we keep chomping into here, I think we, we need to chomp up to this layer right here i think we should go up to this layer all the way across this like go to here right and that'll give us a good because we're gonna need to build, build a big base up here with a plant right and then we're gonna need to put um if we want to go down and mine in the quarry down there at the bottom where we're starting to get blasted rock and things like that because we'll start a blasting down there so this is all the upper surface like uh placer mining style up here and we're gonna cut all this out and make it smooth. Eventually we'll add floors so it makes it a lot faster. We won't have to deal with this bumpy stuff. 
that we're dealing with. But like I said, we're going to more simulate this. So, well, it's time to almost send in the roller. But let's go ahead and uh, knock these ledges off here first. As we dig down and in. Kind of chompy chomp this here. We're just using this. I guess it was nice that we got a big loader because it's acting like a dozer. And that is key while we're, you know, kind of running poor. We're running for fuel and we're running for our first upgrade. What do you guys think our first upgrade should be? A rock truck? What do you guys think? Well, we have no way to run the pay at the moment, so we wouldn't want to go with a with an excavator. Until we get a, we'd have to get a rock truck first, right? It'd be by, would be my, would be my bet, right? Rock truck first. I'm trying to eliminate. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to run just belts everywhere. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not looking for the just belt, dig, belt, dig, belt, dig, belt, dig. Right. So I think because if I get a rock truck, I can always take the loader down there in the pit and buy some explosives and start blasting and pulling different material and just bringing it up here and just trucking it up here, right? So that's another option we can do if we're tired of running pay dirt. So getting us into running different ore, give us a reason to really buy that fractioner and the trommel and things like that. But right now we gotta we gotta dig home base out here. So we're we're really close to our um our pay pile, so that's good. A little bit more simulation in this one, like I was saying, that guys, like a little bit more like role playing style sim. So that way it's fun to follow along. It's not just me going in and just blasting hardcore, ripping and going hard. Yes, there is. There is a trommel and there is a sorter. What's up, Sharky? So for me, how I would run the plant, how I had it set up in the um, the demo uh, Q&A was pretty much exactly how you see it set up now, except for I'm when I'm running blasted rock and stuff like that, what I'll do is when, you, when you're running, when you're running base pay, like I am up here right now, when you're running these new, these new nodes, you don't need all the rest of that, the plant because you're not running blasted rock. So the fractioner pretty much takes um just normal crushed rock that came from the jaw crusher right uh so pretty much your setup would be you're going to go out of the top here so the bottom shoot this bottom shoot out of the conveyor this you always should set your plant up like this hopper right to the conveyor because that's going to immediately sort the crap out the bottom which is the dirt and pay dirt and it's going to turn it into your jade, ruby, copper. I mean, your copper, you know, gold and stuff like that, right? So you'll get this stuff out of this. You'll have dirt and all these other ones that come out of pay dirt, right? And then your next bet, if you just look at the way it's it's wrote, it's written for input and outputs, it's written, I'll take and I'll plug the trommel right into this output right here, right? So what will happen is it'll take all the high value ore it's high value and it'll go out of the trommel, which there, and that's this one right here. So I'll go into this here real quick. Any questions, dudes, feel free. We'll, we're kind of just going over a patch recap as well, too. So today, as well, it's kind of plain. So don't feel afraid to ask any questions. So, okay. So then you take this trommel. This is new. All right. So we're going to go to info. So it's going to input any material into this front slot, right? And it's going to, out of the upper output the out, up top it's going to put out everything that is not crushed so jade lithium everything can come out of the top pretty much everything that exists can come out of the top the lower so if you're running blasted rock or anything like that will come out of the bottom right so it'll come out the bottom automatically and what that does is it, then you can go from so since everything's being converted what don't you see on this list? You don't see blasted rock. You don't see crushed rock because that would be considered everything else. So then if you look at the production and you look at the fractioner, 
the fractioner says, well, I only input crushed rock. Well, how do you get crushed rock? Okay, you get crushed rock by running the cone crusher. Nope. That inputs crushed. Well, that inputs crushed rock and turns it into gravel. Well, you don't want to do that because then you're just turning it into a low grade gravel. All right, so this is obsolete once you use the fractioner. All right, so you want to go conveyor. Sorry, you want to go conveyor sorter i mean to the trommel then you want to go from the the bottom of the trommel you want to go to the jaw crusher because the jaw crusher will input blasted rock and out push output crushed rock then that will go into your fractioner and the fractioner is like i was showing you guys it takes crushed rock and outputs gravel magnetite copper boxerite and rhodium out of gravel so it'll just get rid of these He was saying to put another uh, sorter in between the wash plant and the storage. It should sort out good dirt from normal. Well, dirt just has a dirt has a it'll sort it anyways, right? So this is just has a value of just dirt. Right, so it's already been sorted through this. So generally, generally you wouldn't want to, you don't really need to sort it again because this is just, just a byproduct of it, right? So the plant's not fully working correctly at the moment. So Yes, you, you can, if you want to use the dirt, that is, you can do that. But if you're not worried about using the dirt, then just sell it off. Right. So pretty much what Defiant's saying is, is that you put another one here and the top stuff goes out and you can then dump it somewhere and then use it somewhere else. So you, you run another trommel right here and then you truck it off somewhere and dump it if you want to do it that way or simulate it that way. But you're not really gaining value. You're just sorting the dirt from that sorter hopper so you can use it somewhere else. There's a billion times dirt. It's not really a, you're not making money from it. So like there's so much dirt you could pull from somewhere else and just move it somewhere else, right? Like that, that's why I wouldn't, I wouldn't run an extra just to get dirt. Right. But if you really, really want to simulate it, absolutely. If you really want to go, okay, I want that dirt, right. Then, then yes, but, uh, you don't, you don't need it to, to make money. You just sell the dirt. Oh, and there's plenty of dirt to move around in the beginning. Right. So. Yeah, let's just keep chomping. But that's pretty much how the plant works in a nutshell. It's not too complicated. It's if you just look at it, this goes to this, this goes to this, this goes to that. It's really relatively easy. It just looks more complicated now, but it's actually not. It's it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. But I know a lot of you guys really like to just, you know, make sure I have all of my stuff and this is what I can do with it. Because I know I did see a couple of you guys' comments, you know, oh, we don't get any extra dirt now to play with. And it's like, well, <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> I mean, you can make a hopper, you can make a bin. Like for me, I just don't really want to tack on another another thing to use it because we, we have so much damn dirt to move around. That's, you know, my personal thing. But maybe later on down the road when we do like a super sim version of the game, game gets a little bit more progressed. I might need that backfill. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You might need it. So you might want to run a second sorter uh, if you can afford one before that container. Can you co-op? No, there's no uh, no multiplayer, no co-op for the game. Right now, it's the uh, voxel engine that they're using uh, that's holding them back. Pretty much in a nutshell. It's um, It's got some issues with multiplayer. 
but the game's got a lot and a lot of development to go it's got years of development to go before you really even think about multiplayer right typically you don't build the game right off the bat with multiplayer because you got to get all your your core functions built if you have the money and the resources as in far as as far as the development team goes then yeah sure you can you can you can put out a million or two two three million dollars you know into developing the game right off the bat with multiplayer but typically you go with concept first and that's kind of what we're playing here guys we're just we're just in concept right now when it's a working concept which is great because like hopefully you guys have noticed the iteration changes every time right so it's it's you know now there now there's no open beta anymore reason why is because it takes too long to get everybody's feedback and then there's too much feedback to really make everything work smooth and fast right so like christian was saying he said it he said it yesterday he said it many times in discord he just needs a, a faster streamlined version streamlined version of uh the testing and that's where in-house testing comes you have trusted testers that have the best interest of the community and the game and over their own needs right so you definitely see a lot more and they're dedicated to beyond any time christian or the they say jump right because he needs it where other people may be more interested in doing other things or you know oh i'll get at it next week no i need it now right so to, so to speak right so yo what's up bear you know so he's definitely been able to make a lot of changes very quickly um because of the in-house testing branch and uh like, like i can tell you like last night so last night before i did the q a with him he had done four hot fixes and then from the q a to now there's been three three hot fixes right so he it, it, it's it's fast how much faster you can go now with the uh, in-house branch i know everybody wants to give their input and stuff like that but sometimes it's a little too much for, de for developers especially when you're a really small team You're still waiting for the game for that so I can play it with my friends. Yeah, I mean, I think the whole I think the whole mining genre. There's Packers now. Yeah, they've had they've had this for a while. Um, I think I think everybody here that's watching right now would prefer the game have multiplayer. But, you know, it, it is a bummer that we really haven't seen anything. Any good games come out with multiplayer for the, in this genre, but. I'm honestly just happy at the uh I'm, I'm honestly just happy with how fast he's there they've been able to uh, update the game right and slowly bring stuff out to us and make tweaks are these tweaks everything that everybody loves yeah maybe not not everyone's gonna agree on everything you know what i mean not everyone's gonna agree on every little thing that the devs change that's okay though you know it's it's nothing to get butthurt about or or anything like that right from was it november of this year to now the game has made amazing progress absolutely amazing progress yes oh construction sim construction sims yeah construction sims not open world so it makes it a little easier but those guys also have a lot more money to throw around with their development team right they can hire extremely really good engineers they they've been around the block a long time you know they have a lot more capital behind them to be able to hire engineers to come in and engineer things in the game that no other game has right as an indie developer like um christian is he only has certain things at his disposal right that all other all other indie developers have and they all have to rely their game building and progression building the game off of them right so that's kind of the, the 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 thing about it right so it's it's just kind of a bummer but it is what it is right i'm just happy that we have machines being added pretty much like he said yesterday almost any there's no reason in suggesting machines anymore guys to him like like the bagger or any machines because he already has them all on the list they're already there he already wants all of them himself so there's no point in even saying oh i want this piece of equipment or i want this piece of equipment he already has them 
he already wants them to be in the game anyways and to me i think that a majority of players really want that right now a lot of people that have already put maybe two three four hundred hours into out of war are kind of looking for other things than other people might be looking for like some of us are some of us are really just looking for a start to finish gameplay that's a grind right like it takes x amount of hours to get enough money up if you're doing good to buy this or that or this or you know what i mean and, and kind of progress your way through to starting your mining empire right that's gonna be the exciting thing right when those things start to come out how the community reacts to them and you know what you guys all want to see how, how would you guys want progression and leveling to go like just out of uh theory crafting it right like how would how would you guys want it to go Do you guys feel like um when you start the game what would you guys like to see the very first thing obviously picking a map and things like that are are um kind of uh, a given right and i'll kind of just chat about what i want what i would like to see right so yeah just throw in chat dudes uh so so for me i would like to see where we start off and we have like a a few different options maybe one being like um a company scenario where the company sends us out to somewhere and we have to survey and dig and and stuff like that and then the other one would be where we have like a mom and pop operation and we gotta try to get to like glory you know the mining glory empire right so that's kind of what i was looking at right like you just it's it's you know but the game has to be freaking balanced as hell, man. Money, input coming in, and I like to grind. Got time for it, yeah. Also, also another thing too. How long do you guys think it should take to grind from, like, say, a starter part of the game to being a mega miner? How many hours do you guys think that is? I guess that would be an easier question. The aggressions are slowly coming in, so we'll we'll take a look at these. You like to be able to break and repair machinery. He did say that is coming. Just how it's going to look is um, two different things. I, I I loaded up a question for him, which was, so how's it going to look? Like car mechanic simulator? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. Let's 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 have a pre-placed building that we can drop down on our map somewhere and go in there and then it's a whole different game. <laughs> That's what I was kind of thinking. I was like, that'd be that'd be freaking awesome, dude. Because Gold Rush kind of does it like this. You kind of go up and you have your tool and you can take off all the bolts and then you can pop the wheel off, pop the wheel back on. Even that would be kind of cool. Even that would be kind of cool if they did that. But you know what no game's really done? Merge great games together, right? So in this genre, it'd be nice to be able to maybe mix this game with like, say, like a minor, like a, like a real basic car mechanic simulator. You know what I mean? Like where you take it into the shop and then you can go into the shop and it's almost like a whole different game. Like you're, you're playing pretty much a whole different game. And you can take everything apart, put everything together, things like that, right? I think that would be sick. But some people would be like, no, it takes away from my mining. I don't want to see them working on things like that, which I can completely understand as well. Right? So it all depends on how deep you want to go into a system like repair. You think it'd be uh, cool to have a choice like corporate thing and get a percentage of what you might make start your own and start branching off that's cool it's, that's cool as well that's a good idea cool we finally get our fix again of split and dopey Oh yeah, we're gonna be hammering it all weekend, dudes. All weekend. Or all week. I mean, I gotta work a little bit this weekend, but I will be back to our normal schedule. And uh, there was just a lot of chaos going on, as you guys could tell. So I had to kind of take a couple days off here and there. Plus I had to work out of town for the weekend, so. We are back to our regular programming. You watched, you're looking forward to all the new changes? Yeah, there's, there's uh, gonna be a lot of stuff coming up here, guys exciting super exciting 
I can't wait to uh, get the ability to uh, showcase them for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that showcase. I'll tell you what, it was stressful for me. I'll tell you that much. I was like, oh crap, don't do a bad job. Don't do a bad job. Don't do a bad job. <laughs> right? Like, don't do a bad job, bro. <laughs> You have to repair it in order to be able to use it. Yeah, he's said he's had a few different um, ideas that he's thrown out there, and you could tell that he's even changed on his own mind about how he wants to do things with the, maybe like a repair system or a used marketplace or things like that. So it's going to be interesting to see how he wants to do it, right? And put it out there, and then all of a sudden we kind of critique it, and then he kind of goes back to the drawing board. I can see the repair system being a multi-phased thing, right? It's not just going to be perfect right off the bat. Oh, we're making we're making okay progress into this wall face here. We're just chunking in on the money. Hopefully, we can uh, afford a rock truck soon. <laughs> if this if you, if Christian goes to leak something he shouldn't be leaking, just start blowing things up. Yeah. I did not mean to do that, honestly. That was such a fat finger. I was do I was tabbing in and out while he was talking. And then when I came back in, I hit E and it was just like, oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Hey, at least it was a cool explosion, right? Okay, now we're getting some scoops, guys. Are they all still the same size and cost? What do you mean? Sorry. You had no idea what the game sounds off. Yeah, plus there's also a little bit of delay between you guys and me. So I just told him to mute so he wouldn't get any feedback uh, through the speakers, right? So I, di I didn't know either. So I couldn't get his attention because it was like so loud in my ears. <laughs> We, we had some pretty funny moments in that stream. Like, I, I went from one save to the next, and I come back, and my excavator's halfway in the ground, and he's like, I thought we fixed that. And I was like, uh, I thought you did too. <laughs> like, then I started just spamming through the vehicles to see if I could break it, and I'm like, yeah, it's definitely not fixed. Something is definitely wrong. And see, the thing is, is it was completely fine. Dave, and show us your oars. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate that, man. I do appreciate that. We are saved and show us the oars. Let's see what we got here. All right, we've got a little bit of box in there. Probably mainly going to be down here in this wash plant box. Yes, we are. Moving. Here it goes. We got a 105 pieces of gold. We got 14 diamond. We got 24 ruby and jade. Let's go ahead and sell this all. What? Try to put it down there. Does that sound? Do I hear an ice cream truck? <laughs> oh, it's cartoons. Damn it, I got all excited for a second. I was like, ice cream truck! Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, we're we're making money now. Hey. We're already up to twenty eight thousand. And we would have been at millions before. Nine hundred bucks. So we're not pulling any decent ore out of the top of the trommel because we're not really hitting any of that stuff, right? We're just kind of pushing. We're actually making a really good amount of money off of uh, pay dirt, actually, and dirt. <laughs> no, we don't need a big old plant, guys. We're gonna we're gonna making money. Uh, okay, here are they still the same size and cost? Uh, the rock trucks? Yes, they are. The rock trucks um, should be. He should be doing something with those here soon. Uh, he's trying really hard to uh, get the uh, dirt and controls and stuff like that working here first. So, 
you know how like when you drive the rock truck how it just like deletes half the pile off the top uh that's i think that's what he's addressing soon so yeah, nice little plant setup so far real easy nothing crazy nothing crazy going on so i gotta keep cutting into that bench what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our bucket high up as we go in and take this all down here let whatever fall down kind of do that since like i said we're not using the deform tools and we don't have a dozer yet and we do not have a hoe so yeah i mean as it sets right now if i keep pushing this pace and i'm just running this uh pay dirt into the plant i mean we're looking at maybe a couple hours of running before i can actually buy a piece of equipment so that's actually that feels really nice i think that feels good started with an excavator and a rock chuck works too yeah i was just thinking what i wanted to do here as far as the um if i wanted to start with an excavator or start with the this because we don't really with a million dollars you don't really you can't really afford a dozer right so the front end loader kind of works like a dozer right now so that was kind of my thought maybe my 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 thought pattern was right but generally yeah i would like i like to start with a uh the excavator and the uh the front the, the rock truck but there's no real reason for us to even need to dig a hole at the moment. So we got so much of this bench to scrape out. Got an absolute ton. Hey, if you guys could do me a massive favor, if you guys are liking this stream, smash that like button, dudes. If we can't get up to uh, 100 likes today. More likes means we keep playing this, 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 this stuff. If not, I'll start looking for other games to play. I am just stuttering today. Yeah. Amanda's making fun of me over there. Also, too, Amanda is playing uh, Hotel Renovator. The link up and above is actually Dopey's stream. That is also on this. Well, the same channel. So my wife is now streaming over here on YouTube. So if you like watching some other games and stuff like that. She also plays other games uh, separate from me. So and sometimes we're also playing the same game. So you guys can have different uh, viewpoints. You should go over and over and throw her a like and say hello. And we're just dropping pay dirt everywhere. Third time's a charm. Yeah, he's he's trying to tweak it for the uh you need to get me on Twitch? Hell no, dude. We just came from Twitch, man. Twitch was uh, dumb as hell. So you're sticking with YouTube? Yeah, YouTube's always done well. It has It has more people to potentially watch. There's way more people on uh, on YouTube than there is on Twitch. The potential for more viewership and finding new people and at a larger rate is way better over here. Uh, we did okay on Twitch, but the problem is, is Twitch is so janky. And... They literally screwed us out of thousands of dollars. They just didn't pay us. So that means they screwed over the viewers. And they screwed us over. And you have to grind your soul away to even get anywhere. Bill paying day, huh? Yeah, tw Twitch was uh, not a good, not a good thing. The only thing we could ever get anybody to watch us play was farm sim and even that everybody was afk right so because they were watching 40 other farm sim channels at the same time so uh youtube's are youtube's the original uh home of split into gaming brand so we went we ended up coming back after uh twitch screwed us over dopey remained over there to kind of stay for a little bit but it wasn't uh anything 
Do I stream World of Warships? Um, I do, but it's it depends on how busy I am. Hey, I'm just making a mess over here. Even World of Warships and stuff like that, right? You got to be a bigger channel to uh, to be able to change games and have people watch you, right? So, dump truck is weird at the moment. Models look a ton better now. You watch a lot of Mighty Jingles. Mighty Jingles, Notzer, all those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big guys in the group. No, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people have, a lot of YouTubers, have, they stream on Twitch, right? Because it's another form of revenue. But the thing is, is if you're not partnered, you don't make dick. You just get screwed. Might buy this game. Remember, it is early, but it is it does have a lot of good stuff involved in it. So keep that in mind. Definitely check it out if you got it. A kick would be better than Twitch, to be honest. But Twitch is not doing too well, bros. Like YouTube, YouTube is um, changing a lot of stuff here this year. And by the end of next year, Twitch will pretty much be obsolete. YouTube's taking all of their the stuff that people love about Twitch, and they're incorporating that into YouTube by the end of this next year. So, I'm happy. I'm happy I came back for many reasons. Uh, for one, a lot of people can't watch Twitch at work; it's blocked, right? So, and they can't block YouTube because people need it for their work to look up things. So it's um, you know a lot of a lot of schools and stuff like that. <laughs> Kick will at least pay you. Yeah, pretty much, right? So. And you don't get spammed with 4,000 ads an hour over on, uh, over here. Where Twitch, you get just smashed with ads and we make hardly anything, right? So you guys just get annoyed. We get hardly anything. So there's many, many benefits. The main thing for me is, is that my content stays where it stays, right? I shouldn't have to do 5,000 steps for my content to be saved or just get deleted like Twitch does. Twitch just deletes everything. So you have to end up, you have to end up sending it to YouTube anyways, right? And that's just a big giant pain in the ass because everything gets compressed and it just looks like garbage. So if I just stay here on YouTube and, I, and everything stays here, then you guys don't have to go searching for videos or VODs or things like that, right? So. kind of feel like if people really want to watch the content for like DLC days or things like that they'll go to where the source is they don't need a certain platform right is it nice to be on multi-platforms sure but it's also against terms of service for almost every platform to be simulcasting right so How do you guys like here on YouTube? I know some of you guys like it here on YouTube. Some of you guys like the Twitch environment a little bit better, but how do you, how do you guys feeling about it? How do you guys feeling about me and Dopey uh, coming back to YouTube? As well as Dopey streaming on YouTube. Been a lot of different changes here on the channel recently because we're just trying to find out what works for us and uh, what you guys like. pretty much what it's about guys is we're just trying to play more variety uh we're getting a lot more sponsored deals to play different new games and well our our main game changed on the channel which was gold rush now it's out of ore because gold rush hasn't put out any content in like eons
Uh, the game is officially released, but technically in early access. Yes, it's it's um, it's constantly being worked on, right? So it's not you're not going to get a full polished game right now, and there's huge chunks of the game missing. I'm I'm trying to be always as honest as possible. Even though I do, uh, you know, stuff with the developer and stuff like that, I still will always be honest to you guys and telling you guys how I feel about things. And if I think something sucks and you guys think something sucks, well, we talk about it, right? That's uh, generally the best way it is. I'm not going to just go, oh, this game's amazing and you should play it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'll warn you. It, it, you definitely need a decent computer to play it. And there is working problems, right? So... But it's 100% playable if you have the right, if you have enough uh, computer power. I know a lot of you, like, I know a lot of you guys are, are hard up for cash, right? And even 20 bucks can be difficult to pull. And the worst thing is, is when you get a game and you just can't play it. You know what I mean? So, always going to be honest with you guys on that. But as you can tell, I'm playing it okay. We haven't had any hiccups yet today. For a new patch coming out. Seems to be doing okay. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's go take a look at it. You like getting games early? I, you know, I do too if it's from the right people. If they, if they really, if they're really just heartfelt and they're down to work, earth and they just work really hard, I like those type of games. Grassroot movement type games. Get in there and check it out, right? It's, it, the community's fun. It's fun to chat about the game and talk about things that we all like. All right, let's drop another cell here. No, what am I doing here? No. I'm trying to do that. And this place has a lot of ruby in it. Okay. About 14k a haul. It's not too bad for what we're doing. So in total we've made about 43,000. Not bad. You here to show us the map a little bit? Yeah, let's uh go ahead and go into uh aerial cam here. A little easier to run around here. All right. So when we're a lot of these, from what I've noticed, there's a lot of spots in the game that don't have any ore, right? So you're not going to find it speckled everywhere, right? This part of the map is pretty much the main digging area of the map. However, let's go a little higher up in here. Coal is easy money. Yeah, actually the best money right now is using the wash plant and running pay dirt. <laughs> But coal, coal is nice too. If you got coal and pay dirt running in the same area, pff, you're golden, man. Then we have this giant um, thing here. So we got all this bedrock looking material here, which has got to be blasted or ripped to dig in. We do have some nodes over there. Looks like something like a mixed box right and things like that. And you can see all these different ores are speckled in here. Uh, in different uh, fashions. It's also running through here as well too at a higher, it's a higher richness as well down in this main cut that runs through here. But we have a massive quarry area, but then you look over here and there's like nothing like Christian was saying. Some of these are completely just stripped out. There's nothing there. Like I know I checked out the back one back there. There was like nothing back there. So it's mainly this big giant uh, kidney bean uh, area. Yes, the starting the starting zones are fixed for all players. However, when you start in, you can also just go ahead and I mean, look at my tiny little operation down there that we got going on so far. Look how massive this cut's going to be. We're going to eventually get down into all that, right? So the ground since we're far away technically from the camera, it's why it's doing that. The ground will kind of warp and deform as the uh, LODs load in. Level of detail on distance pretty much is what that is. So a lot of big nodes were taken out here just recently. Um, and uh, some things are going to be definitely going to be reworked here soon. Let's take a look here. 
we got? Yeah, so this area, this area down here is, 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 needs to be blasted pretty much. You got to do something with it or you can't dig in it, right? You got to convert it. So converting it is pretty important, but there, it's just a higher value of ore. But this is what we run through your fractioner after you go through your jaw crusher, right? So your jaw crusher will put it down to crush rock and then it runs through your fractioner. So you get a lot of high amount of ore. Backfill those abandoned quarries with dirt would be fun. I just want a really cool looking mine, right? So I want to, I want to cut this all the way down in. I want to merge it with, uh, I want to have my, uh, let's see here. I want to have my pay dirt coal and, and, and random ore like box, right? And stuff like that. That's what mainly what this stuff is. And this obviously is coal. Then you have dirt and pay dirt as you go deeper. So I kind of want to have this strip right here leading into the mine. And then I kind of want to merge them into one big quarry um, where I have two different fingers of the mine. So one finger will be for like the wash plant material. The other one will be for like the fractioner material. And we'll, we'll run the conveyors up the mountain. Kind of like that you guys saw in the showcase uh, Q&A. Right, how I had that, where I had multiple lines coming up from different locations. And then I had a, uh, a hopper, um, central hopper feeding them all into one conveyor, right? So, yeah, we don't, you don't need a merger, guys. I know a lot of guys keep asking for it. You don't need a merger. If you want a merger, just use a hopper and then build a hopper extension on it, like you see here. Build a big hopper extension and then use the drop down shoots. To get it to go where it needs to go right you don't really need a t you can build it yourself it technically exists in the game you just got to build it right so i use all those brains dudes get it moving all right we need to make money we need we need quite a bit of cash all right we need we need quite a bit here we're just rolling today the other, the other mine is up and running as well, too, on my other save, right? So, hmm, I don't know. Should we go underground or should we stay above ground? And just That's the thing, though. I know a lot of you guys on the other save were like, on the previous where it was underground. It's like, go underground, go underground, go underground. But um, the geology's changed. So on this save, do we stay above ground? Because there's no big real nodes to follow. strip mine this shame you're assuming i have a brain <laughs> damn dude ah you bought this game and you're gonna be uh playing it a little bit more after you play some hydronair i need to get into playing some hydronair at some point this week so you guys can yell at me about how terrible i am it's okay i'll take it we'll take we'll take the beating It was like having 40 teachers yell at you at the same time when trying to play, when trying to learn something. Yo, what's up, Rick? It was so like crazy, dudes. I'm glad you guys had fun on that uh, Hydraineer stream, honestly. I was just messing with you guys a lot. There was, I was not grumpy at all or anything like that. I just was, uh, I was just uh, shooting the shit and just joking with you guys. I knew exactly what that stream was going to be all about. I knew you guys were going to be like, because I know you guys love Hydraineer, right? So I knew it was going to be 40 to 60 people lulling at me for being fail and uh, everybody wanting me to do it their way. So we'll do it again. We'll definitely do it again and uh, and uh, learn some more, right? So we're definitely going to play another Hydraineer stream at some point this week. I'll play one. You were making content. Yeah, exactly. About the game because you saw someone play it on, uh, on, um, on YouTube as well. Watch my homie uh, Hybrid still play it, dude. He uh, 
obviously has all the videos that everybody's been looking for and stuff like that. So that's who I, uh, if I need a question asked. I'll just ask him. <laughs> Come on, get unstuck from here. He's kind of making a little bit of a divot in there, which I don't really want to do. I'll be bring out the uh, roller soon. No, my loader's already starting to get wrecked. I have to backfill some of that in here real quick, which is no big deal. We got a ton of dirt. Had to grab yourself some Turkish delights. Yeah, let's just mob up this real quick here. Yeah, you watch hybrid play? Yeah, he's a good dude, man. We've known him for a, quite a long time. I remember, I remember when he started his YouTube channel, man. He's doing really well for himself. It's good to see. Pizza for dinner here? I need to actually jump up here. Man, it is warm today. Actually, we look like we're okay. Let's go ahead and keep pushing in like this. Just make sure I got I have a little bit more bucket control here. The bucket's a little uh little wonks today. Sometimes the dirt lock wants to work automatically and then sometimes it doesn't, so. Oh, pfft. good job, buddy. Good job. Just dumping pay dirt all over the side of the thing. Hey, how, good job, man. Look, at least we know the grind's not hard enough yet where, uh, you know, you're barely scraping money for uh, fuel, right? Oh, it's just a time thing, right? The grind is just a time, which is... That's okay as well, too. Yeah, the gift, the gifting count is, is definitely off still. Because it can't be tracked, and I have to always manually change it. Now, because of the dual streams. So, I don't know how we're going to address that. Because I did get a message from Streamlabs saying we've officially found a massive exploit in their system. They didn't account for this and they're sorry for the uh problems and it can only track one stream at a time uh through the gifting through anything done through super chat or not super chat but uh through the chat which i kind of laughed at him a little bit because i was like well what about super chats super chats he's like well that's still a chat thing and it's like okay well why don't you just put a, a chat tracker and they were pretty much like, our systems can't ho handle that. And it's like, okay, so you'll never have the ability to do this. GG, nerds. So pretty much we'd have to do our own. We'd have to have a coder build our own tracker. Which is, dude, I don't even... I don't know. Anybody you guys smart enough to do that? I know I ain't. Anybody know how to build an API that can track stats and stuff like that off of a, off of, uh, a chat? Yeah. I wish I was that smart, no doubt, right, dude? <laughs> no doubt. But yeah, it can't track it, so we'll we'll have to figure something out with that. I don't even know what stream has uh has it today. What stream is the um, the dominant stream? I guess we'll call it. It could be Dopey's. It could be mine. I don't know. 
It should be mine because I started last, but I'm not sure. So. Alright, we're almost up to the the line where we gotta be. Dopey changed it while I was sleeping. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but I, I just said heck with it. I just passed out yesterday. <laughs> After the QA, Dopey started streaming and I was just was like I've been running so little sleep lately, I just said hell with it. I just I I was like, Dopey, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm going to I'm going to lay down. It's showing Dopey again as the, as the stream, the thing. Okay, yeah, but I don't know if that means anything though. It doesn't. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's the one that the super chat's going to be read in, or a uh, uh, gifted, right? So I'm not sure. I think it's what I think it's where whatever stream starts last. So if I start last, super chats, well, not super chat, but the um, things will count on mine. The Dopey stream was first today. She she went live first today, and then I, I started after her. So technically, it should be mine from what we worked out before. All right, so we got... We have... cut going on here let's just go ahead and rip off the top of this here chain's like well we're gonna find out right now and congratulations to rick and thank you much shane appreciate that bro oh uh, well this stream obviously tracked it so it just came through so i don't know if dopey's uh will track then so i think it's always the stream that comes in second Oh, it'll pop up on it'll pop up on yours, but it has to be done on the stream that uh, is the host, uh, the one that's there. So it's whatever stream starts last. And thank you, Shane. Appreciate it. <laughs> one way to find out. <laughs> Yeah. So if somebody gifted on dopey's, it wouldn't show up. I guarantee it. Can I blow up the fuel tank? No. I think the same thing is so, so any super chats that go through the secondary stream don't don't and gifts don't work i believe how it works that's just on their end that's nothing to do with us oh ripperoni something that they said that they can't uh get working maybe they might try to figure it out later so you <laughs> shane if it comes up, then I'm going to laugh because that means they fixed it, dude. Hell yeah, Tim. Watching Dobby stream. Appreciate that, bro. And that like button. Oh, I thought that was it, Shane. I was like, there's no way. That was William. Thank you much for the sub, man. Welcome to the channel. 
yeah so okay so it's always the second stream so just keep that in mind guys if you want your um if you want the uh, gifted subs to track you have to do it on the stream that starts second for the day but whatever stream goes live last it'll track for sorry there's nothing i can do about that <laughs> had to check it thanks shane do appreciate that man i generally always try to make sure that i go live last because i know you guys really like watching the and having the track stats so and that was 152 you got your big old tier three up and running hell yeah dude congrats man one good rat. What the hell? It says we have. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't know why. I was like, I was like confused there for a second. I think I could change that number, Shane, somewhere to make sure it adds up correctly from now on. So I have to take a look at that real quick. I figured it doesn't matter since you guys are married. That's how most people, if, if you don't care about it being tracked, then just throw them wherever, dude, honestly, because it's just, we're on the same channel anyways, right? So we're in the same room. So it's not like it matters. You know what I mean? So like Glenn dropped to a $280 on Dopey stream on Friday. Glenn went beast. He took out the top dono for the, uh, the month and, uh, just went absolute savage. So big old props to, uh, to, um, to Glenn for, uh, being the, uh, leader of last month. Appreciate that support, man. As well as <laughs> he just had, he said he just had to beat Matthew is what it was. He's <laughs> like, I just have to, there's just, there's a principle in life. And I just have to do it. Honestly, thank you very much for the support last month, guys. You guys were massive in, uh, Adobe, uh, really appreciate it. I don't think, I don't think YouTube died. Hopefully both streams are running really nice for you guys. And, uh, you guys are getting a good viewing experience. Ah, saved. You, you see, here we go like that. Appreciate that, man. I will just work and work and work and forget. I appreciate that. I guess it's an or check too as well. Nothing's going to be in here. We seem to be stopping right at the same place every time. That means we're running the same yardage roughly every so many so many checks and making roughly about the same 13,000 per op so we're Alright, so we got a we got a 5 by 5 on both streams Shane quality wise just enough to stay into black with the fuel cost yeah especially while running this i mean honestly i think that's a good balance i mean it's it feels good for the gameplay for how many hours right because if you think of a dozer a dozer is going to cost me like a good big dozer is going to cost me like 800k right like the d or the um the 800 right like it's like it's, it's a lot right so and a good rock truck is going to be a lot a, a 530 uh, excavator is going to be a lot so I got a lot of gameplay uh, to go till I acquire these things, and that's really cool. I like that. See, right now I'm just working on clearing an area for my for my uh, my equipment and everything, right? So 
and making a little bit of money back so it's kind of like i really wanted to test out this uh running this um this dirt mixed with um with uh the pay dirt right to kind of see what the uh the output on money is like and i, I actually honestly i'm liking it i'm liking it a lot Yeah, it, it does have characteristics of both, right? So, because obviously he can't just rip it off completely and steal the model. You get in trouble. So you kind of have to like change like 60% of the, uh, the thing so you don't get in trouble. When's my next equip? Uh, what's my next equipment? I think we're going to go with a rock truck, actually. I think we're going to go with a rock truck because we're going to need it. I mean, a dozer would be good as well, too, because I'm already still able to run pay. But I already, this thing is kind of working as a dozer right now for me. So I don't really know if we should go with a dozer. I definitely know we shouldn't go with a, um, the excavator. I know that because we have no way to get the, the pay from the, where we're ever, we're going to be digging to here. So at least if I run a rock truck, I can use it with the loader or I can use it with a, uh, with an excavator later. So I think the I think the rock truck is the more reasonable uh purchase first. I was just kind of do a little bit of finesse on these walls here. Like scrape them a little bit. And then we'll come in for a scoop. I can uh, use my buttons correctly today. Oh, the rate, the rate of uh, decay on the equipment. Yeah. Oh. Just use the loader bucket as a rock truck. All right, so what we can do now is we made it to that wall, right? Now we're gonna kind of make like a, a T or a, or a Y up against that wall. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move this back and we're gonna flatten it. That way I can drive and I can use this area to back up in now. Cause well, this was chaos, right? So I can back up into here and I can start chomping out this way into the into it. So I don't gotta make big 180s and stuff like that, right? Wish we had more equipment in Gold Rush. Me too, but they seem to be taking their sweet ass time with just about everything. So, until all that, well, I'm playing out of war. We're gonna see a million more things from out of war right now than probably Gold Rush will, have, will probably even do. I mean, they don't even want to talk to their fans anymore. So, what the hell do we do? Wait, do they? Don't, they won't even talk to to even me, man. I'm part of their in-house tester group. They don't talk to nobody nothing no moderators nothing man they don't they just don't care <laughs> i don't even know what to say about it dude they just don't give a shit <laughs> i don't i mean they can prove me wrong at any time but they just don't talk to anybody anymore ever since the old employees left and they have all new employees uh nobody talks to anybody anymore none of us are informed anymore nobody outside their in their their development team has any clue really what's going on with the game or anything like that Maybe they ran away. No, they're definitely working on the game. I know that. They're definitely working on the game. They're definitely making improvements on it, but no outsiders outside company inside the building actually get to know what's going on anymore. And I don't know why, because none of us never leaked anything. We just worked really hard on the game and, and, um, who knows? Whatever it is, it's super secret. I mean, I've already tested all the new equipment and all the new stuff. Uh, that was supposed to come out, but that never came out. So maybe they scrapped all that and they're doing something different. They don't want anybody to know about it. Who knows? Right. So they obviously went back into development uh, stage of the game. So hopefully we get some gigantic update or something like that. And it's just insane, you know? I still love Gold Rush to death. I really do. Guys have spent, you know, a lot of hours into it, but. You know, when nothing new is coming out, it's not exciting as a content creator to play a game that does not put out new content, right? 
So that's their fault. It's not our fault. That's not our fault as the consumer or the uh, content creators. There's nothing we can do about it if they're just if that's the way they're going to be. And and uh, it is a bummer because everybody there's a lot of people that really loved Gold Rush. And if you knew what you're doing, it wasn't a grind. It was just a really nice, pleasant digging experience uh, for like speed style competition digging. And you know, it was uh, it was good. But a lot of us wanted open world stuff, and if they're unwilling to give it to us, and hopefully somebody will, right? And it looks like that person's a uh, Christian. So, bad we can't mod it uh there was rumors that them allowing modding for gold rush but i don't think they want to give up their uh if as soon as they do that people are going to rip off the game is what's going to happen and they don't want that because gold rush is still still technically the industry leading digging game right whether you like it or not it really it actually is it is the leading game in the industry when it comes to this the digging and and stuff like that It has the the most well-rounded gameplay meaning does it have the best graphics and stuff like that no but does it have it's the most polished game in the uh, mining space and if they give up the ability to if they give up the ability and just show everybody how it was done then a million people are just going to rip them off and they won't be the top anymore so if they ever want to come out and make a new game they still want to remain the top of the leader right but GR is better. That game doesn't even play at all, hardly. Horrible. The meme now, dude. Damn meme. I just, I love the Christian. Just completely knocked them out of existence. you're afraid you're gonna buy it too dude it's a it's a it's a great little playthrough man and not even a little playthrough it's it's a lot of people will be like it's too much of a grind it's a it's a monster man it's a monster playthrough as a new player you might if you just if you don't use any weird like um dollar mode or if you turn nuggets off you're looking at like a, a good hundred hour uh play session dude and then if you play on hard mode might as well kiss the summer goodbye you might as well kiss a summer goodbye because that thing is going to wreck you for like 400 hours. It's a grind on purpose, man. Hard, was, hard mode was built after um, after my tuning. And then even then they made it a little bit on the weak side. So if you play, if you play on the 12, 12 hour, if you play on the 12 hour cycle, um, 12 X, that's pretty much two hours per in-game day. And it takes, you know, roughly 40 days in game to complete a season well on hard mode you're going to need at least five or six seasons to complete the game so it's quite a bit man quite a bit then there's there's even leaderboards too where you can compete against other people to see how much you can mine in uh see how much you can mine in um four week period Yeah, Goldverse doesn't want to release their source code exactly, because I mean honestly, Goldverse does have technically the best digging, even though it's so basic, it still feels the best, I believe. Like honest, I'm I'm more of a bulk dirt fan with with animations and stuff than I am like the voxels and stuff. Technically, they all use a voxel of some sort, but Gold Rush had built their own. Pretty much. Uh, is the dirt lock still not working right? Uh, it's still a little clunky, man. Oh, why did I turn around like that? Rip. 
Don't want to do that. Well, it doesn't matter. I guess we'll just take something over here. You should buy it, man. It's like 20 bucks on Steam, dude. It's going places, bros. It's going places. It'll only get better from here, honestly. I, I truly believe that. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. I think it's honestly just going to get better from here. Dude, Frankenstein is is awesome and and gold rush, dude. Frankenstein's like, oh man, you get like five of those things in a row and you're just just smashing dirt. You have over three hundred hours in this game, and I love you love every minute of it, man. It's easy to love, man. We're we're all dirt nerds, and uh, we love moving dirt. We love talking about moving dirt. We love all the TV shows, and I know some people are like split. I wish you wouldn't talk about Gold Rush. It's another game. It's kind of rude. Honestly, dude, we're all just fans of running dirt and heavy equipment and stuff, right? So it shouldn't be that way. People shouldn't be nasty about it. You know what I mean? Like, people should be just, just chill. We all love gold. We all love the TV shows, like Mining Dirt. We all love heavy equipment. We all like big, giant machines and things like that, right? So on the channel, we love to talk about, like, what happened on the current episode of Gold Rush or when we're just kind of streaming and hanging out and talking or we'll talk about things like... Parker's Trail or Bering Sea Gold or things like that, right? Or, oh, did you see the new episode that came out of this giant machine? And, you know, people will talk about it and stuff like that. So we're all, we're all about that type of stuff here, guys. So it's all it's all good to go, man. Like when we talk, when I talk about Gold Rush, I'm not trying to like make it seem like, oh, that game's better than this or this is better than that. It's just I have years, I have years and years and years of experience in it, right? So. Bill Bull with a silver shovel in your hand. We all like digging holes. Yeah, damn right, dude. We like watching people dig holes. Stop turning around that way, dude. You did it the other way around so you wouldn't have to do that. You damn noob. I mean, once this game finally gets fully tuned out or has a comprehensive gameplay pattern and progression system and multiple different things, it will 100% take out Gold Rush. I, I can guarantee you it will. I can, I'll guarantee you it will. But uh, right now, it just it, it can't technically do, say that. If you're saying that, you just you're just wishful thinking right now. Right, you're kind of just putting it before because you're just either a fan of it or you're fanboying it. But if you look at a technical, there's way more technical coding and stuff like that that's into Gold Rush than there is into Out of War. Even though Out of War may have different pieces of equipment or things like that, um, it's just not quite there yet. Which it is, oh, you know, it's coming soon. Which is great, right? That's why we're all following this type of uh, development, right? We all enjoy it. Like, that's what's exciting for me. Like, I lost that excitement with Gold Rush development team. And I worked with them for many years. Because they just didn't care anymore. Too much, too many, too many people fighting within the company. Uh, too much taking forever to release shit. Uh, just a billion different things that just made it not fun anymore. I, I, the only reason why I played Gold Rush is for as long as I did, it was because I loved playing it for you guys. Because I know you guys like watching me play. I know you guys like watching me play in the leaderboards and beat the hackers and the exploiters and stuff like that and just absolutely destroy people for fun uh, when it came to uh, these digging games and competitive digging and stuff. I know you, you guys really like that. So I was like, okay, I'll just do it for the fans. I don't care about the development team anymore. I'll just keep doing it for the fans. But then I got burnt out, right? So I needed something to do I, or else it was just pack up streaming and play something else. So out of war coming around, what it did was... Like, I'll be brutally honest about it. I was not thinking about streaming anymore. 
like my main game nobody wanted to watch play anymore it was very dismal every stream was like five to ten people right playing your main game as a streamer right that's not a good thing So yeah, Out of War came around right at the right time. Honestly, it really did. That is what you'd call a glory hole. All we Freaking have Shane. to do is get down and dig it. Because that's where our money's gonna be, right there. To help with the ingredients for the cherry ripe cheesecake. <laughs> for the cherry ripe cheesecake, dude. Shane, thank you much, brother. Appreciate that, man. You have 300 hours into Gold Rush, the game on PC? Bro, uh, I don't even know how many hours I have anymore. On just one account, I think I'm at like 3,000 something hours, and that's all streamed on here. No excuses now? Damn it, you're right. Yep, beat them cheaters. Oh, dude, we did. We crushed them. We crushed him and it was absolutely fantastic, man. Your chain, thank you much, brother. Appreciate that, man. I don't know. I just, when I played Gold Rush in leaderboards, I just wanted. To, I mean, I got I got people talk so much crap when I was playing that that game pre leaderboards. And then season one, when I absolutely just decimated everybody, it wasn't even a, there was not even a contest. It was like, it was just, I ran away with it. Like it was just, it was a, just a joke. And, um, like I said, even to the point where the developers were telling me to stop putting in gold cause they got over two to 3000 emails about people saying, kick me off the leaderboards. I ruined the game for everybody when all I was doing was just competing and playing and having fun. But, um, everybody was trying to turn against me right like oh you're you're doing you you don't you don't hold the value of what the game is and all these things like that right so it was very disappointing for me i was very like dude i'm like does this game not want a champion or does everybody want to be the champion so they can't congratulate a champion and that's kind of how it felt so it was kind of a bummer it was kind of a letdown i mean you guys were about the only ones in the community that have been here for a really long time that were just like super stoked but majority of the community was super pissed off because they they didn't think somebody was going to do what I did. So, kind of a bummer. Like maybe maybe it was just too early for people. They people don't value people didn't value what I did, you know? They just looked at it as uh that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit, dude. If I can't do it, it's bullshit. Can't wait for uh patch one six. I won't I wasn't special enough, yeah. I wasn't their favorite big content creator that they wanted to be like the winner of the leaderboards and stuff. I was just some no name dude, you know. Yep, open pit equipment. Hopefully that brings in the bigger stuff, right? The big boy stuff. Seventy yard buckets. Damn. Yeah, dude, that's some best stuff, dude. But look, but look at look at look at how the uh, the industry's changed in the last um, seven eight years, right? It left people. Gold Rush left people wanting more, which was a really good thing because there was nothing really before it, right? There was nothing really before it. Farm Sim had their little deformation thing, but it was just blah. Let's be honest. It was blah. 
you know gold rush came around and was like okay hey look we got a we got an excavator we're digging dirt we got wash plants oh you can move the wash plants around you can plug power in there's water and stuff like that right and then it was just riddled with bullshit <laughs> right but it still worked and then seven years later we got a couple games that tried to shoot off from that and then we have out of war right so it's kind of cool to see the progression of what's going to take place over this uh decade in this uh genre right that's where i'm kind of long for the ride i guess but we are definitely scooping and flopping anyways enough about love that kind of like the history of everything so to speak get back into this mindset And this uh, piece of equipment is absolutely beat up. I wonder if the, the fan's going to fall out the back again. Keep scooping here. 60 ton of scoop so we'd overfill any of our current rock trucks yup upgrade my wheels to the chain wheels yeah I, was, I used to run the chain wheels but then everybody was like don't use the chain wheels now i just don't do anything because people just complain <laughs> save and check all right sounds like a good uh sounds like a good time yeah we, we can change some wheels up here take a look here normally normally i run the doubles um, but I can run chains. Save game. Okay, and let's go ahead and check our boxes. I don't think we have anything in this upper. Hey, okay, nope. Oh, we got a big haul on this one. Woo! Hell yeah. We also dug for a little longer than the last time as well, too. So go ahead and go into this stuff. Oh, we're not go to the bank. Store, store all my stuff in the bank vault. Yeah. Okay. That's a. Oh, biggest haul yet, I think. Right. Yeah. Oh, right, 72,000 made for the uh, the hauls. Not bad, not bad. And, they, and you can obviously tell the plant is running exactly how it should be right now because nothing's coming into this box. All, if we're only running pay dirt, it should only just go sorter and storage down in there. Like I said, unless you want the uh, thing, then you just run another sorter, right? So it depends on what you're looking for. For me, I'm not looking for that. I'm just looking for getting some cash and getting a nice little wash plant up and running. Right, so our next purchase is going to be, let's take a look here. It's either going to be more building foundations, so I can stretch the pad out here a little bit more. Obviously, well, we will do that anyways, because it's not very expensive. So but we'll stretch the pad out here a little bit. Come over into here so we can keep the mine flat and straight. I guess maybe we could do that now. Go ahead and move some of this equipment away. Okay, so is that way we can uh we can just push up against here because we don't need this to go super deep. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go to the wall face over there. So we're gonna need more concrete flooring. Go ahead and buy. Go back out. We're gonna go concrete. Or how much does 99 cost? 27,000 for 99? Sounds like a plan. That sounds like a good deal. I'll take it. We're going to use a snap onto the side here. And we are going to try to work our way over there. If we can uh, do that. There's already a block snapped to the top there. We have to snap it onto the side and then move it over.
And we'll just kind of fill this area in. Blocks, and then we'll scrape out what we need. Like I said, we're not using any hand tools. Everything will be done with the actual vehicles themselves. A little bit more progression, a little bit of spending. We got fuel. We got we have the equipment to keep working on the job. Do anything crazy. We'll just bury those. No big deal. You just use the nuke for the first time. Wow. Yeah, the nukes, the nukes fun, dude. Nuke is absolutely awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and jump. Let's go ahead and save this. We just laid these floor tiles out, right? Let's go ahead and save it. And you know what? Let's put some like shielding kind of looking. I guess we only had one left. I think we could put some shielding around it, kind of, but we can do that later. We can always make the things look nice later on. All right, let's make this. Let's go and scrape this up here a little bit. We can lay some of this down. We'll just push it away. We're laying flooring tiles down anyways. Oh, you should not have mounted up like that. I think if I run over that with the, uh, oh God, don't blow the fuel tank up. <laughs> I think if I run it over with the loader or the uh, thing, it'll go away, but get these tiles in place. Oh, uh, it's almost barbecue time. Oh man, dude. Okay, there we go. We just run over this stuff. Push it back down into the ground. Beautiful. Come on. You can go lay another one out there. And we're slowly getting the pad to its a lot of straightening here. Up for the task. Keep working. Thank you guys much for hitting that uh, 50 plus likes, dudes. Appreciate that. Dude, look how smooth of a line that is now. That's nice. I like that. Oh, yeah. A little bit better. This loader's a little uh, worse for wear, though. Yep. Oh, much smoother. Oh, heck yeah.
Let's just run this right to it. Pick it up and put it back down again. You mean the, uh, the look like new? Oh yeah, 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 the, the loader, yeah. Oh, we're gonna beat it up, dude. We want to see what <laughs> we want to beat it up, right? Part of the fun. Open this thing up. Oh, we're trying to do a little too much scrapey scrape in here. And I want to dig in where these tiles are at. Put salt in the mine as a mineral. Damn, damn, salty ash noobs. You guys got a crack out of that comment, huh? <laughs> oh, man. We're just sliding and gliding here. Got through here. Push, 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 push. Oh, we went underneath the mine. Ah. Hey, death point in black and gold. <laughs> oh, I would love to uh, have the models uh, for this and the UV packs and everything like that. So I could uh, paint my own skins. Uh, see if uh, Christian would put them in. I mean, I know how to skin in Unreal. I did it for uh, Diesel Brothers, right? So, I made some badass skins. Let's go. Oh, we're making everybody else's skins look stupid. <laughs> hell, hell yeah, dude. Out. Gotta buy more. Man, we're gonna go we'll spend all of our money. That's okay. You gotta spend money to make money, right? Loader will run so much better on this. We get this uh this in. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's actually not correct. Blow that block. Punch that out. Am 
right. We got here. Twenty-seven thousand for ninety-nine. Woo, we got to work today. I said we got to get Operation Base Camp up here running, right? That's the main goal for today: is get this base camp up here and get everything in today. Get some plaster uh, mining in. Get a wall face to kind of work on. Getting some of this dirt. No point in trying to tackle the other stuff for me right now. What we're kind of trying to simulate here until we get uh, these things done. And pretty good. We got a nice little pay dirt wall face right here to eat up against. And we can go that way as well and still eat some pay dirt as well. So that's going to bring us some okay little runs, but nothing too crazy at the moment. All right. So go and drop a save. Let's just run it with the roller real quick. No dev tools, just all rolling today. Come on, man. We have to take the, uh, just kind of munch away at it. You will disappear. Damn this big giant front, this bar on the front. Damn it. What is that thing? A weight? Stop you from running over children? What is that thing for? I mean, it gets the job done. I mean, it does flatten it. It's definitely working. I like it better than the scraper. Never seen, never seen her. Yeah, I don't know what it is either. I don't, I really don't know what it is. I've never seen one like that. If you guys know in the chat what the hell that thing is, let me know. I don't know. Oh, almost backed into that. Yo, what's up, Ozzy? I do like how the dirt rolls and interfaces with the uh, flooring now. It's actually much more improved uh, versus the way it used to be. We got a nice little uh, slope there. Perfect. All right, let's smash all the way up to the wall.
Okay, it looks like we can't run anymore. We have to start ripping some more out of here. We need to um, drop a save first off. Okay. Any building just like that, I like to drop saves. <laughs> the bar in the front is the knock down little kids to get in the way. <laughs> All right, I like it. Sounds good. We're going with that. Oh, uh, now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking here, guys. Look at that. Look how smooth that is now. Sent Amanda Casino Sim. Oh, damn. Just run everybody over with a freaking roller. As long as it's Bud Light, we'll run it over with a roller. It's region Coors Light here. Taste of America. Even though we're in Canada. Y'all, what's up, Den? Damn, dude, look at the mine so far. We're doing all right. Not doing too bad. Bad for just clearing off some of this dirt layer here. Funky old dirt. Oh, that's right. I was going to look at bigger tires. Let's change tires. You will be here forever. Yes, I will be. And that's part of the fun because it gives me something to stream, right? Gives me something to uh, work on, progress, chat with you guys about the game. In between, not every day can I stream because I, I, I you know, have to do things like that, like recordings and stuff like that. But, you know, get ready for the next uh, content patches and stuff. But for now, we have a nice little, little lull so I can get in here and kind of play and Go for it, man. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I kind of would like to see maybe a smaller map with way more detail and like a town and stuff like that put onto it instead of just a giant map. I mean, giant maps are cool and all, but I'd rather see all the resources condensed and really nice and everything really planned out, you know? Um, I'm starting this way because I kind of want to check out the grind and the price grind. So I'm kind of doing a little bit more, uh, punishment than I need to obviously on myself, but, uh, that's mainly, you know, I'm, I really want to test out the balance between the wash plant and pay dirt and things like that. Right. So. Just to kind of see how it feels, you know what I mean? Pay dirt's paying off. 
yeah this save is not about making a crap load of money it's about getting a really super easy simple setup and just running pay dirt and see how much money we make an hour so yeah it's uh it's and it's been it's been fun so far we're slowly progressing we will make more money once we get into the um once we start getting into that speckled material over there which is copper box right and some other of those like things like rhodium and stuff but honestly gold and stuff like that pays out really well diamonds pay out really well rubies jade and stuff like that so it's a very simple setup to get those materials so This map really doesn't have gigantic lithium nodes and things like that. And also too, lithium got nerfed and everything got nerfed. So diamond and stuff like that coming out of the thing is definitely more money than the other stuff, right? So you'll be here forever in the buck. Yeah, I mean, you'll be on this map forever. Yeah, exactly. Like if I mine all that out and I go and I mine out all that gray area, down to a certain point you know you're looking a couple hundred hours right it's a lot of gameplay so the maps being massive if it's more scenario based you really don't need the giant maps you don't you're not really a fan of the cash aspect you're more just about the digging and building stuff as yeah, some players some players uh that is the the sentiment that they have towards it right not everybody plays the game uh plays it for different reasons right so if you're only just about that, that's what creative mode is good for. You don't worry about the money. You don't worry about the finances. If I like the finances because it gives you those, oh shit, I need to stop sucking ass and uh, start making some money. Yep, that is the bonus to this, this genre. There really isn't no wrong way to do your thing whatever you like and whatever works for you is what you should do All right not everyone's gonna dig the same way not everyone's gonna open their pits up the same way not everyone's gonna burrow underground the same way so that's what makes uh these games fun Some people just want this big giant building and cool all this cool stuff and they dig this little tiny pit and that's it and they just want to build The prices will always change due to uh, progression and stuff like that, right? So it really depends. If something's really overpowered in price, then he's got to nerf it, right? So. The only way we can do that is by, well, doing what we're doing right now today. Jumping in and getting a good five to six hour gameplay session in progressing and going okay today i just focused on some of the smaller geology stuff and strips and running a lot of this and this is kind of what i accomplished today you know and then later on we can kind of take those notes a little bit and go okay it took you how many hours to do what and uh kind of uh come up with a game plan right so you get those numbers it's uh really kind of hard to do and the wash plant's not quite tuned correctly either so still a lot of little things that need to be worked out guys lots of little things and that like button. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that's not happy is my loader is not happy. Now we're making better progress now. And I'm also kind of like saving my dirt a little bit. I could be over pushing a little bit more and deleting some of the, uh, the dirt on the top, but that's not what this saves about today really getting in to run this geology patch with the new wash plant uh, addition to the lower hopper and kind of like getting a, a foothold yeah 
Yeah, I'm just kind of seeing what we're running per block, right? Per couple blocks, X amount of scoops. You know, kind of seeing what we're making. It seems to be about the same when you guys start yelling, telling me to save versus, uh, you know, go check the check it out and see. So it seems, we're seeing to be hit a pretty, hitting pretty consistent numbers. I can't even speak today. Anybody down there digging in the rock or what you guys, what you guys doing? You guys, you guys, anybody of you guys, how many of you guys started on the new, uh, the new map? You know, I want, I was thinking about going down to the rock, but you know, I don't know. So this is still the original map slight rework uh this one no this was reworked uh this map here if you look at the um look at some of his older screenshots it was actually changed to be a little bit more grueling not just big spot nodes everywhere That's why I see a lot of ore speckled in now instead of just big giant deposits. He wants us running those mixed nodes, right? He wants the wash plants to be kind of working and doing their thing. So that's why this map doesn't really have gigantic spot nodes on it. It's all just speckled throughout the nodes. Yo, what's up, Wesley? Eric, I want a game. Just started right above the rock. Nice. Now we'll definitely be working our way down in there. Is this map based off of the old maps? I don't believe so at all. I don't think it has anything to do with those ones. It's completely, it looks completely different. I don't see any of the valleys being the same. I'm doing pretty good, Wesley, man. Doing pretty good. It looks like a completely new one to me. I mean, I, I don't know how many of you guys caught that in my little video that I did before the Q&A, but the map was different than it is now. And if you could still, you might be able to see those flight subtle differences. We had them change it. <laughs> there was some stuff about it that we were like, dude, it would be way better if he just did this. And he actually uh, got it done, man. It, and it, it, it feels better. It, it does feel better. The big spot nodes, you can play on the other maps. You know what I mean? But this map needed to be something unique. It needed to be a grind. You know what I mean? It needed to be a a big, big, big boy to, to beat up on, right? Uh, just some very, very slight changes. Not much, though. I don't think any of them actually got changed that, that much. I know that some of the nodes, if you look at the outer ridge of the nodes... They have like the mixing of the ores a little differently. Now that's just because of the geology pad. A loader is so mad right now, hundred percent. A loader's beating up. <laughs> Bring in the helicopter.
I mean, I guess also too, how many patches do you think we're going to, how many patches do you think we're, we're going to see guys where, um, how many patches do you think we're going to have to see before he has to rework the game again? It always happens. It always happens, right? Like, okay, we beat the game a bunch. Now we got to go back and rework the whole game with, but with everything else that we know and polish it out even more. I'm thinking probably we'll see it in like at 0.5 or something like that. Hopefully that's when we see it next, right? So, you know, leveling, underground mining, all that stuff like that, like comes out and then I'll say, like, okay, now we got to go back and streamline everything again before we can push even further because it's kind of like the way games are made. Does the game let you repair? It does, but it doesn't at the moment, kind of. It doesn't really work. Probably when the underground mine comes out, that's going to be relatively, oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know how soon that's going to be. I don't think he gave an actual rough timeline for when that was those nice things were coming out. Right. So he did say, however, the, the dirt upgrades and the controls would be coming relatively soon, but I'm not sure if he stated how long it's going to be after that before we start getting the other patches. How's my night going? It's doing absolutely good, man. We're sitting there streaming for you guys and uh, kicking back. Relaxing. We got dopies over there streaming. Hotel renovator. And that going. It's just super hot in here right now. It's about 90 in the office. A little. Whew. That's your predictions when he has to rework the game again. Could be around there, you know. We're just crushing. It's going so much faster now with these blocks. Yeah, the one I was the one I was mining uh, on the uh, the tunnel save was. Um, a mixed node as well too but the nodes don't mix like they do on this one though like when he said like when you blast and dig it doesn't change they don't really the geology patch doesn't really fully come into effect other than in the wash plant stuff this map has a lot more of the mixed node speckled uh stuff like that working properly like when you blast and then you dig it's still fine right so Bring, bring, bring. Starting to see some color up in there. stock cooler uh isn't doing the trick for you how am i liking the uh, new map well it gives me a lot of different types of uh gameplay with the new map instead of just hunting big nodes because right now if you look at the price of the nodes 
the big nodes are kind of not really the money makers anymore. Let's actually go ahead and uh, save the game real quick and we'll talk about that for a second here. Okay. So we have, if we look at the buy, go and hit materials. Now we can see how much they're worth. All right. So magnetite 52 gravel has a nice base pay of 38 load it really fast you got the rhodium things like that those are a lot but look at the gold rate the gold you get a lot you get a lot less of it but there's so much pay dirt everywhere right you can just load tons of this stuff into your plant and have the chance of getting diamonds which are massive 260 each rubies 260 uh platinum which is a, which is a decent price uh which comes out of the other stuff then you get jade but lithium look at lithium lithium's only 85 not even that big of a deal anymore right so all the older other ones are roughly you know 67 you know 86 copper's kind of crap uh but you will get a lot of this stuff though out of the uh the trommel and the fractioner right you will get a lot of that out of there now however you're not going to get those big big money unless you're farming these things right so i'm just kind of doing these for the day I want to kind of focus on the upper plant tuning so I can really kind of like right now I'm playing on, on actually, no, sorry. I am. I did look, I am playing on, I am playing on the live build. So I'm not playing on, on a, on a, on an earlier build. So this build is live and a little bit more balanced. Yes, it is. So you have coal at 45, you have just dirt at a dollar. Right, but that's okay. It's just a byproduct of everything else. You have pay dirt at three dollars, but that is where we're changing this number. Kind of playing like the lottery, right? We're kind of playing the lottery with this because we're running pay dirt in, and it has a chance to well either come out as dirt, which is a dollar, or get sorted into these, which have a lot higher of a value. But and sell this like this big clump of dirt, a kaboom! It doesn't. It's actually not even the right price. So maybe dirt is even these are not correct actually so dirt's a dollar so if you want to buy dirt it's a dollar <laughs> that's if you want to buy dirt that's not what dirt sells for right so because if dirt sold for a dollar then it would be a dollar right so those prices don't really naturally match up with these so but you can take find out what one jade is so jade is correct Right. Jade I is sell is is correct. I think that's correct. So So there's dirt. We'll just check all these to make sure. Not all of them, but we'll check So let's see here. Jade is no, it's a little under. See look. Okay, so if you look at Jade, um Jade is selling on you can buy Jade. For 321 but when you sell it it's only 281 right so buying it you're losing a hundred dollars on it which is fine because you're not always gonna be able to buy something that you're gonna be able to sell buy sell prices right so but that's not the same so let's actually just go ahead and See what one unit of dirt is. It doesn't register. Okay, so it takes two pieces of dirt. To... So technically, yeah, it is a dollar, but it doesn't even register the dollar. So when you put two in, and then it registers two dollars. Right. So let's go three. Three is for two dollars. So it doesn't register a half a point. It'd be if it registered half a point, one piece of dirt would be uh one point, right? So half a point. So it doesn't do a half a point. That's why we're not seeing the dirt change like that. So it, technically the dirt is 0 0.5. Half, half a, half a dollar per chunk of dirt. Okay. We did the shade. Uh, I don't believe so right now. They don't think they fluctuate. Go ahead and sell that. 
Jade, how much does gold sell for? Let's take a look at the. Seventy one is what how many gold sells for. Okay, well what how much does it cost for gold? Alright, they buy it for ninety six. Okay, so it's a it's close. It's close. Somebody got somebody could tell me the number of uh what the percentage is. It looks like there's a percentage. Exactly. What's up, Robert? So yeah. The base is not actually there. But these big boys still do sell for a lot of money. So, as you can see, we just made another 17k. Up to... This is how much we made today. This is our original million dollar pile that we stole from today. Looks like it's about 12.5% off. It's That's what I was thinking. I was thinking it was like 11 something. But my math is horrible today, so... Appreciate that. All well, you guys got your brains on today. Mine is not. So that's the breakdown right now of the uh, wash plant, hay dirt, and things like that. So, so just run it all through the plant. Run it all. Just make sure you have that wash plant on the bottom slot. Sell it all. Sell the dirt. Sell it all, man. Unless you're trying to simulate using it for backfill and use the other conveyor. Uh, nope. No multiplayer. Oh, it says I'm not paid to think. It is a single player mining game. All right, let's keep pushing this in here. Diggy, diggy, dig. It's trying to chase you down. You're like, bro, I ain't got no brains. I promise. They're not tasty. It's mush brain. He's like, okay, never mind. Go after somebody else. You know, you feel, you know, you know, you know, it's horrible when the, when the, when a zombie picks a dog over, over you for the brain matter. Like, oh man, the dog's brain was more exciting than mine. Shh, man. Damn, dude. Yeah, it is pretty zen, man. It's pretty chill. I mean, you can have some rage moments, but for the most part, it's pretty chill, dude. Yes, one plus one it does equal potato. Saying that for years. What what's uh what does what does this thing cost? I don't know. Potato? Don't ask me, I just dig dirt. Certain days I I just turn I turn the game on and I turn stream on and it's just you know what? Let's just move a lot of dirt today and just uh BS. What's the agenda? To move dirt. Yeah, it's getting late for you, dude. Take it easy lock. I should have spelled it right. <laughs> it's worse when you try to insult something or say something with potato in and then you spell potato wrong. <laughs> You're like, gosh damn it. I'm just going to go run and hide in my corner. Then you're like, I tried to, it was tried, it was tried to, the, it was giving me the joke. I swear. And they're like, yeah, whatever, dude. Sure. You spelled potato wrong. Where you did. The worst is when you're trying to type something, autocorrect just pones you. Trying to say something all smart and then it just makes you look stupid as hell.
It is hot in here, eh? It's brutal today. I mean, I know, I know people suggested it, so about like the ore price is changing. So it's better to sell at a certain time and things like that too. But also too, you guys got to think as well, eventually we will have to make our own stuff, right? So No, in, in our office, it's 90. Because with the computers running and stuff like that, right? So it's nine. My thermometer on my desk here says 86.2. And the humidity is in this office here. It is 32% humidity. I think it's only like, uh, I think it's only like, um, 20 something outside 22 or something like that. you gotta think i got my gaming computer cracked up running and streaming off of it and dopey's got hers cracked up and running and streaming off of hers too at the same time reason down here oh man we got beautiful weather right now man absolutely beautiful perfect 20 ish celsius I like that type of weather. Not too, too hot, manageable. But certainly, I don't like the heat anyway, so. For like 70s. Dude, it's like, dude, you guys are like, suck it split. What the hell, bro? Dude, no, it's barbecue. It's lake weather. It's freaking, it's getting there, man. Those lakes are starting to warm up. Oh, man, two, three more weeks, dudes. Whew. Right now, it's like I was saying, it's, uh, we live like five minutes from the beach, so we just go for a walk in the morning and um, kick back. I do appreciate that, man. Yeah, once we start getting like 25C and up for like a week straight, then that's when me and Dopey are going to start hitting the lakes up and just going to the lakes and just hanging out and going swimming and stuff so you'll you'll probably see us during the uh the summer here on our really hot days we're just gonna be like nope dudes we can't do it because it's gonna be like a hundred plus in the office in here 110 and the computers will just roast and we will roast if we do anything it'll be a little short stream later towards the evening uh we'll do a couple streams later in the evening during the week right so Our goal also too is just to make sure we put out as much content as we possibly can during the summertime as well as enjoy ourselves because it kind of sucks being locked up in the summer and uh you know we definitely wanted to uh try to work on that a little bit but ding there it is just a little delayed on Streamlabs. appreciate that freaking lock dude and make sure you have a great night man catch you uh soon dude All right, we're only supposed to be nice today and tomorrow, and then it's going to go back down to being kind of crappy and overcast. I need to be a little bit more aggressive on this uh, dirt over here. A lot of it's just like crap. out and check something out. Game didn't freeze. I'm still here.
Okay, never mind. Just look at my DMs here real quick. What is my goal for today's stream? My goal is to get some money here from the grind. And I would like to slowly get this base camp cleared out up here to where I can start, hopefully be able to afford a rock truck within the next so many eons of uh, digging and uh, start really trucking this stuff up here and slowly work my way across this line here. So if you see the the upper line on this side here, I'm trying to go this I'm trying to follow this line here, right? So we're going to follow this line right here. We're going to crush all the way over this way. You see all this good, uh, this good mixed pay. All right, so this is our old coal vein left over from the remnants. We're gonna we're gonna cut all, all the way over here, up against this wall. We're gonna try to core not all of this today, but we're gonna core out all of this upper, and we're gonna put it right about here, and then we're gonna start shooting down that way. So our mine's gonna go all the way in this upper down and in. You're gonna have to build a retaining wall eventually. Yep. So slow. What we're doing is is with this save, I'm just gonna go slow because I already knew all the other stuff was, this stuff was coming. So there was no point in really getting into a big save. And this is kind of the save that we were talking about um, before where I want to kind of slowly, I just want to take it slow and more just kind of simulate it than blast or do things like that unless I absolutely have to. And we're trying to use no um, train tools. So everything's going to be done with equipment. Oh uh, no, we got floating, we got floating balls in the air. So it's going to be a lot of long grinds. It's going to be a lot of live stream, long live streams and stuff like that. So. I don't know what we're doing for night for dinner. I have no clue. Yeah, the wheels don't show wear and tear. Right now, I don't believe. But yeah, we're just coring out. We got to get a nice big area to uh, to work on, right? So we just want a home base, and this is where we're going to build it is up here. So we got to clear all the land first. And we already have a nice little uh, wash plant trommel built onto the side of the hill. It looks kind of cool just sitting there. So we'll kind of just go with this design for the time being. We kind of dug in right there a little bit. And then eventually we'll build a ramp or a road down to the uh, the bottom of the pit. So we can start doing two different things. We can start, if I don't want to mine on the upper and run this, I can go down there and run something else. And we'll build a nice big long conveyor belt up here. And, or we can simulate, what do you guys think? Should I build a belt or should I simulate trucking it up here? Down there. How do you guys feel about that? Should I belt it or should I truck it? With this save, I'd truck it, keep it pure. It looks like a military loader now. I mean, obviously conveying it is the more effect efficient way of doing it. Sometimes we don't go for efficiency. We go for punishment. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does look like a camo paint job. Honestly, I think it would look cool if I built it around no conveyors and built the mine site to be functioning for rock trucks. But 
up. Give me care. Joby's kicking ass on her game. It looks awesome. Let's go ahead and launch this up here like that. Doesn't look like we moved a lot, but we actually have. The other thing too is, is should I play with day and night cycles on? It's up to you guys, the viewers, honestly. I generally don't play with day and night cycles on because you guys like to see what's going on at all times. So. Maybe turn weather on. And using lights on the machinery and stuff causes lag at the moment. Yeah, probably be best just to keep it uh, simple right now, right? Did screw which ones did you order? The big beefy, big high RPM ones or? That's the ones I go for high RPM. Hell yeah. Get that air moving. Oh boys, big day today. Appreciate you guys for coming in and smashing that like button, dude. I can see the influx and in viewers and when you guys come in and hit that like button, dude. Honestly, appreciate it. I just want to do something you guys can follow along with and we can all kind of play and chat and have a good time, you know, uh, talking about the game. And so... My other save was kind of like a fantasy save. I mean, hey, maybe I will just do videos on... How do you guys feel about that? If I did videos on the old save, the tunnel? I know a lot of you guys really like that. And then I'll only stream this save on stream days. Does that sound like you guys... You guys, would you guys like that? Or... Because I don't know if I want to stream both. That way I can go in there and I keep this save pure. And that save, I can go in there and just mangle for, for like killer factor. You know what I mean? So we can have the open pit mine for live streaming and the new map. And then we can do the, uh, the other one for, um, the video format. So like the shorter, like 15 minute videos. No, I, I always play. I always try to play these games. Like I said, I'm, I play for the viewers. I'm a content creator. So it's I do like to incorporate you guys because I like to know what you guys like to watch. Right. So. If I was just going to play my video game, I'd just do it off stream and not show anybody. Right. So as a content creator, I like to see what you guys, uh, it, you know, it's, it's a series. Right. So a lot of you guys like to follow and play along. So. Hey, teacher, dude. Thank you much, man, for uh, sharing me out, man. Appreciate that.
Yeah, because the old save still works, so. Did I plan on doing an open pit mine in the new map? Yes. Uh, well, not really from like when we were talking about it before, right? Because we didn't really know and I couldn't really leak it, right? So I couldn't really talk about it too much, but now that it's here live, we'll talk about it. Well, Divine, that's why a lot of people throughout the channel, we have a lot of people that lurk and work and a lot of people that lurk and work in their game, dude. So that's why we kind of go podcast style streaming. Do you know what I mean, dude? So hell yeah, dude. No, yeah. It's, yeah the, I've been trying to figure out what to do with Adabor. I guess the main draw on the channel anyways. So I was like, do I just abandon that or do I keep doing that? Right? Because... I, I, I kind of want a pure save where I don't use any like weird ways to progress faster. I kind of just want to grind and and just chill. And then I, you know, it'd be nice to have the other save still where it's like an experimental, you know, anything goes type of save. Just get her done. You know what I mean? Make it look cool. Make something badass. Hell yeah. Watching it on uh, Tubi. Yeah, dude, Tubi comes in handy for some of those older uh, older things, right? Tubi's actually not too bad. We got Tubi on our Roku in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Pretty beefy. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I guess we'll uh, we'll we'll just we'll just run two, maybe like once a week I'll put a video out on um, the tunnel progress, and then we'll stream this during the week, as well as our other uh, streams, right? So, run. Did you do an old save in uh, time lapse? The old save. If I'm going to do time lapse, it takes a long time, right, to do time lapse because you got to you got to dig for a really long time to get any footage at all, right? So, if I'm going to do any time lapse, it'd probably be on the open pit mine. And that's going to be what we'll call the uh creator special. You know what I mean? The whole we're going to put this turkey in the oven and snap their fingers and it's done. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're gonna give him the old razzle dazzle. <laughs> because I, I don't know if I have the time to run two slave two saves to be honest. Between everything else I got going on, um, the other save is gonna have to be just like an experimental. It'll be an experimental progress style, you know, obviously a fictional style build. Where this would be kind of like more simulated uh realism kind of yeah you know, as much as we can right oh we'll definitely get our time in on this map like the other one's gonna be for me to make a video if i don't have to if i'm not sitting there trying to like run every scrap of dirt then I can kind of just, be, it's more like a mind show, showcase every every week. Okay, this is the progression we made, do a little bit of blah, 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 blah. And uh, see, this is what I did, this is kind of how I did it. And show you guys, so that way you still get a little bit of technique while we're doing this and playing. As you guys know me, I can just grind in these pits all day and just re-chat and it doesn't matter. I mean, I can also time-lapse these as well, right? So. I can just time lapse this uh, series also. But we kind of did that before, and not very many people seem to really watch the time lapse uh, of it, you know, so.
all about the journey and how you get there sometimes yep like today we've cleared out a nice big section of uh of dirt today we're getting this base uh base camp working we're starting to push into some other ores Those floor tiles were a huge investment. We spent what over fifty thousand dollars on floor tiles today. Was it? No, we bought them three times, right? We spent an absolute ton on floor tiles, but look what it's allowed us to do. How fast we're able to go. You know the roller's nice, but if you're not using hand tools or dev tools technically, right? Then you know, the landscaping, it's it's um. Kind of important to make sure your work site's flat but every time the box will start flying around you're moving around you just you're, you're gonna have to roll every five or six scoops right so floor tiles make it really nice to kind of maneuver your um your equipment around Yeah, just doing pretty much cliff note episodes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I do, I do like bringing those shorter little episodes out. Ooh, we're kind of stuck on the floor tile there. Hey, we got the dozer loader here. Let's go. And see now when they fall in there, they just delete, which is what we want. We don't, we don't have to go in there and roll all this anymore. You're, oh, you're talking. Okay, I see what you mean. You're, bro, you're talking to all the diehards. I will watch every minute of a 12 hour stream. <laughs> True. Facts. You guys are pretty hardcore, man. Much love for it, dudes, honestly. Oh, has he added a power washer in the game to clean the equipment? Uh, I believe it's something to do with the repair system, but it's just kind of half in right now. Is what I, I guess. This is what I'm guessing. I don't know. Eventually, we're going to have to lay out more tiles, but there's no way we even need another piece of equipment right now. I mean, just those loaders doing the job of everything that we need, running this uh, loose dirt slash pay dirt slash box right slash hole. So this poor, this poor loader, though, we've almost went through a whole fuel tank on it. How many fuel tanks did you? Good. Sweet. Okay, we got a plan. It's coming along. It's a long way to dig down that bench, but uh, hopefully it yields us a lot of money. Cut number one. This is called the don't get fired cut. Boss has sent us to this old abandoned crappy mine. Yeah, it was nice to see him uh, talk a little bit more about his, uh, you know, more of the upcoming plans. Like logging? Oh, man. Dude. And did you know they're going to do it really well? Because think about it. They're like really good at building logging equipment for farm sim. 
so you know all the equipment is going to be beast right you know it's all going to handle well because well these vehicles already handle well and those vehicles handle well in arm sim so you know when they put out their logging patch or whatever it's going to be is going to be a uh, absolutely beast mode dude that actually might bring dopey to play I'll just set Dopey loose on my save and she'll just cut down my, uh, she'll do all the cutting and clear cutting. <laughs> Keep chomping this here. Am I checking? Absolutely, man. If it seems like it's been a little too long, you guys can always yell save in storage. That way it lets me know to save so we don't lose any progress in case we get a crash. Let this thing stop spinning. Oh. Seed here. Yeah, true, right? Seed here and we might give you some more. Oh, look how much coal we pulled in. We got a little magnetite in there too. We pulled in 711 coal already. Whew. What's the sluice box looking like? Oh, damn. Okay. 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 Sell. Oh, that's a big boy haul. Oh, that's a big boy haul for us right there. That was our, that was our biggest haul. We're now up to a hundred, almost 120,000 made today because we haven't spent anything off of that. Let's go sell our coal. Oh, damn. Let's go. Oh, we're moving up, dudes. Moving on up. Dude, that mixed, that mixed dirt. That new geology stuff is, is, is paying out, man. Dude, this is going to get rich right here for us. We're going to start sm smashing some cash here. Right in this area. Oh, hell yeah. It looks, we got like all different types of, of uh, stuff in here. We got one type here. You can see the line. That's another type. Then you got another line. And then we got the coal mixed in there. This is much better than millions in the first hour. I agree. I 100% agree. I think that this is is much better of a uh, a layout and format. I mean, if I was in a lithium node, I would just be rich and I'd be like, okay, nothing matters anymore. Let's just build a bunch of crap. Yeah, we made we just made a ton, man. Holy cow. Okay. That was a, that was a good haul. Be a little gentle with that wall face, but let's make sure we tap as much of that coal out of there as possible. I mean, anything will just fall right on the ground right there. Since we're in this this coal pocket, what we don't want to do is we don't want to actually put floor tiles down to the wall face because we'll delete a lot of a lot of stuff. So we don't really want to do that. So we're gonna leave our tiles off, but we go in there flat and everyone gets a little brutal. Like my content, man. Just keep grinding. Heck yeah. It's all about that grind here, guys. Hard work, grinding, and hanging out, and chilling, and relaxing, playing video games that uh, we enjoy. So, hope you guys are having a great day today. Enjoying the patch because it's patch day.
Oh yeah, we're hitting a lot of coal in there now. That vein's popping right there. I'm kind of curious how much uh, how rich this ore is in here. Right, so. Oh yeah, oh look at that bucket, dude. Oh, and now we're popping in. Don't let it bounce. Oh, it just turned all that into coal. <laughs> the old expression ripping up the wash pad because there's nothing else close by yeah we'll probably have to do that eventually too that now that is a haul holy crap what was that three four runs look at this to process here gotta check this one first i'm gonna have to start a new game yep yep Okay, damn, we've already got some good pieces. Okay, we got to get some good pieces here. What do we have for the coal, though? How much did this thing populate in there? 290? Woo, that's rich right there. Okay. That's not too bad. Now we're talking. This, just the wash plant alone was a huge addition, I think. Because there was so much pay dirt to run before, and now it's like we're actually getting something out of it, and it's like, not like... Like, before it was kind of like, oh, you gotta get all the way down to Blasted Rock, and you gotta sort it five times, and you gotta do all this weird stuff to get the ore. Now it's just so much more simple. It's, it's so much more simple, and it just feels a lot better. Yeah, see, we're kind of running a mix between dirt, pay dirt, and this coal boxrite, rhodium, or or magnetite mix mixture up here. That coal was that coal was fat though, man. That coal definitely paid quite a bit. So that was good to see. We got quite a bit of that uh, coal out of there. Got to bring the roller in here and uh, flatten everything out. I like that he said that they were putting in ramps that weren't as steep because the vehicles were having problems on them. That's great to see. Uh, my gold rush game is having a uh, game. I'm just moving dirt to get more gold. Dude, get after it, man. How do you guys like the new simplified UI? I actually, I really enjoy it because I don't care about a UI in these type of games, really. Like, I just need to know a couple basic things. I like the UI is kind of... Uh, just gone now. This is everything that you wanted to do in farm sim, just forestry and mining. Draw Nighthawk. Ooh, big gold, man. Big, big gold on Nighthawk. We're just bumping dirt everywhere. It's okay. The new map is not as much money compared to the other maps, but it's fine. You find it more gratifying. Yeah. That, that was, I think that was this whole point in the uh, geology patch is 
change the landscape a little bit and just because this is all everybody does this is all everybody does did you see where split was mining it's it's like super rich here. everybody just goes to one of those spots or oh there there's lithium here so everyone just runs to that spot it's like every it, and then everyone's minds look damn near the same it's a little bit of variation a little bit of difficulty a little bit more grinding and even now even still there can be more polishing on this whole thing but i think just for what it needs to be it's 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 good right so it leaves you just down to hunting out your mine site where you want it to be and what you want to simulate pretty much like right now i want my right now the, the beginning part of this mine is going to be yes i could make way more money going and finding a um the richer node down the valley in the quarry but uh, i really just want to test the tuning of the uh the pay dirt these spot nodes right so to see how they feel because for to me it's not about making billions of dollars i don't care right i just want to make sure that everything feels good uh money per hour uh, and stuff like that right so right now i feel like it's a nice little grind I feel it feels pretty good i just wish there was smaller equipment so we don't have to i didn't just go you know go right to these big boys should be like minecraft where every map is generated randomly um yeah i mean you can but People generally like to give information and help people out on these type of games. So when you do it randomly, kind of remove the uh, the allure. But they both have their benefits, right? It's kind of like a double-edged sword. That's uh, with that type of uh, map generation. Because then Timmy can't help Johnny, and Johnny's like, "I wish I could help you, Timmy." <laughs> right. A lot of this stuff is placeholders right now until later on when more stuff gets worked out, right? I'm sure we'll see the maps change a lot over the next, uh, you know, six months. Start with a pickup truck and a little Kubota in the back. Yeah. Oh, man. You're set up and running small. I mean, I got a pretty small little setup right now. I mean, I did go with a big boy loader, right? Because I didn't go with any other piece of equipment. So it's kind of like now I'm stuck with this thing for a while, which is perfectly okay with me. Do you know if the uh, hills map is now like the other? No, like this one. No, they're they're pretty much the same as they used to be. So if you want to get full uh, feeling of this geology patch, you're gonna want to come in and play this map because this map is the only map that has like these speckled nodes like this, right? That are mixed and merged within different node types a lot more aggressively, and the pay dirt is mixed in there as well too. Right, dirt, pay dirt, rocks, things like that are all mixed in properly. Right, so you get a little bit more of a grindy feel. So the old maps are pretty much just still big spot nodes. Like I actually, I, I'm actually liking running this pay dirt and dirt. It's like, okay, cool. Like dirt still is worth, worth it's not worthless, but at least I'm getting a value out of it kind of paying for the fuel almost it kind of seems like you know obviously it's obviously it's paying for more than just the fuel but i just think this map feels better honestly like play wise <clears throat> for what you're trying to simulate it just feels better uh here's the stream yeah man we've been streaming now for how many hours now uh almost four What's up, Kyle?
Yeah, just, just a little bit of time playing so far today. A little bit. Crash your car on 420. Finally get to come back and play since production's kind of back. Yeah, it's there enough. There's still a little bit of uh there's still some weird little anomalies happening in the wash plant that need some tweaking, but some numbers and stuff like that need to be tweaked. But I mean, overall, we're just like I said, we're just kind of running the bedrock, not bedrock, but um the pay dirt mixed with dirt mixed with some other the stuff and your ABS didn't even engage. Rip, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. It's nice to see the pay dirt and these spot nodes really working well together. It just feels good. I feel that this part of the production, what we're doing right now is probably the most tuned. But, um, I feel it's like it's the most tuned so far. The other part of it's still kind of like, since it's so new, and the conversion between blasted rocks and things like that needs to be tweaked just a little bit. But uh, overall, it's not not too bad. Yeah, no doubt. Main thing is you're okay, man. Cars can always be replaced, but, uh, you know. Keep pushing here. Damn, rip. And it was nice to see Christian uh, accommodating a lot of lower uh, spec computers today. Like a majority of the people that were crashing and having issues were on lower spec PCs. Like, all the problems that people were having in chat today, I didn't have any. Of, I, we don't, I don't have any of those problems. And uh, he busted his ass today to get as many hot fixes out as he possibly could. Uh, to help him. Help him out a little bit here. Right, let's bring the roller over here real quick and take a look here. Here, what's going on? Am I might try to just run over here with my little thing and do that. No, haven't. Go ahead and save game. Don't kill my save. Nice and smooth. Ah, uh, dude, Mitch. Good to see you, bro. Been a while. Not been that long. <laughs> it's not like it happened that long. He's like, bro, it's been it's been way too long. <laughs> That's good, man. Good being you're out there being productive, dude. That's good to hear, man. Never gotta be sorry about that when you come to this channel, dude. We know a lot of you guys are hardworking dudes and uh Good to see people out there doing that still, right? So, let's love, man. Hopefully, everything's been good, dude. Feels like a couple weeks. I know this week was this this week was kind of weird because I had to take a couple days off, right? And then I was gone on the weekend. Then I was gone for Monday, so it did seem like a big stretch. It was it was kind of a big stretch compared to normally. I'm like on like what seven days a week, so.
So yeah, it's definitely a, um, it was a long one. I just, I couldn't, uh, I had a lot of work to do. Obviously uh, you guys saw, so between, uh, testing and, uh, recording and stuff like that and getting ready for the Q and A and, and stuff. And then having to go and be in working out of town because Amanda's mom's birthday. And then I had to work as well. So it was just a long, <laughs> I, w I just slept yesterday for the most part. So after the Q and A, I went and just like, I sat here and then I just kind of passed out at my desk and Dopey was streaming. So I was, I like just passed out with my face on my desk. And then I just eventually just woke up and was like, I'm going to bed. I'm going to lay down. It was only like what? Five o'clock in the afternoon, Dopey. Yeah. It was only like five o'clock. And I think I slept till like 10 and 30. And then I got up at like, I got up at 10 30 and then I was awake until like four in the morning. Then I just passed back out until like noon. I just, Lack of sleep, man. Just been pushing so hard. Look at waffle face. I've just been pushing so hard, man. Just going down. How do I click stuff so quickly? Uh, just combination between my mouse and just uh, being used to uh, keyboard and mouse. All right, that looks a lot better. That looks a much, much better. So we're gonna keep the uh, covered in save game because we just did work. But it's good to be back. It's good to be. Uh, I mean, it was super chaotic. We had a, we had a, we we didn't get the patch until. I couldn't actually even get onto the patch until like Wednesday because I've just been busy with work and streaming, right? Like, and um, the community stuff. So I only had like a couple days to record that video and get ready for uh, leaving out of town, right? So hopefully this next time I'll have a little bit more time with it, guys. And, um,. I'll be able to actually, you know, put the preview patch out a lot sooner if Christian approves it to go out sooner. So, uh, on future patches and, and, and uh, dev Q and A's, right? So, but it all depends because sometimes things just aren't built like, like he was saying, and uh, we're pretty much just playing with placeholders. So there's nothing to really show. As a develop as developers, they don't want to sh people don't want to show that stuff. Like you don't want to see me just working with a block, right? What's that machinery supposed to be? Well, it's just a cube. Does it work though? Yes, this cube works. Right? No, you don't show that stuff, right? So until the model is actually there, how do you click stuff so easy? You mean like uh, hold on. Yeah, board cube or yeah, pretty much, right? You mean like when I uh, click on things like this? Click and drag? Like that? I don't know. Is your mouse not working right? Oh, you mean the little aim dot thing there? Oh, browse, 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 browse. Just put a piece of clear tape on your damn, on your damn monitor, dude. <laughs> and then put a dot on there, a bigger dot. <laughs> Come on, noobs, you can't see the clear tape. You're not going to put a dot on your monitor. <laughs> <laughs> how do you think you no scope through? How do you think you no scope people when there's no damn HUD? <laughs> Come on. All right, let's keep going here. 614 and we got quite a bit more box right down here. Some of us old farts have bad eyes. Yeah, same here, man. I'm, bl I'm like completely blind in one eye pretty much. And um, I do just put a piece of clear tape on my monitor. 
and then just put a dot there. Scotch tape. Just put a little piece of scotch tape in the middle of your monitor. You won't even see it. And then just put a, uh, grab a marker and make sure you have your center of your crosshair on your screen or crosshair mode. Most monitors have crosshair mode. You could even do that for your monitor. You, if your monitor doesn't have crosshair, like my 4K monitor doesn't have crosshair, but my other monitors do. So I can actually just turn a crosshair on for any video game that I play. You begged him for it to change it to orange. I honestly think it just needs to be bigger. Like I'm like a lot of people hate these dots and stuff like that are technically crosshairs. Um, just give it or just give us the option to change it to whatever we want. That'd be, I guess, the best bet. Oh, yeah, yeah, on the snow maps, you won't see it at all. I think just the ability to have a couple different crosshairs. Would be... I have so much trouble clicking stuff. I always get, uh... Oh, you mean you're talking when you're building? Hold on one second here. You mean like this? You're talking like this when you're, like, trying to build like this, right? That's because you're standing in the box. The best way I can say to build that makes it a lot easier is to actually just go into first person mode and uh do it that way go into first person mode and just look at where you want it to go right so if you kind of see a little dot in the middle of the screen you can uh you can see that you just click so if i want to attach to this wall face i just look at this but when you're in this mode and you're trying to click something in, you'll stand in the box and it'll turn red. So what I do is I just go into first person and I look at it all and then blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, first person, depending on what your keybinds are set for, it's C on the keyboard. Changes first to third. Yeah, the reason why I didn't take it to a mechanic is because uh, that was a pre 100k. Oh, I can see why. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. How much have we made so far today? We've made, let's see here. We've made 175,000 so far. That's not bad. It's not bad for just running uh, dirt, hay dirt and mixed stuff. Not too shabby. We'll take it. And these floor tiles are expensive, though. Hey, that much. Things are fully priced. But they do the job, man. They've been making it way less stressful. So, oh, can't complain. You use a controller for Gold Rush? The game on PC? Yeah, the controller, a lot of people do. I, I purely use keyboard and mouse. I play uh, GR because uh, it's just so much faster changing the, the mats and doing things like that and changing the wash plant and doing clean outs. Oh, yeah. I mean, the old mat, the old before, before the uh, value change of all the ore. Yeah. $3 million a damn truckload of lithium is like insanity.
absolutely stupid. But it was what it was, right? No big deal. Now here we have this patch. And uh, everyone can kind of chill and start over again and, and start up a new mine and practice some different techniques and... This is the way. <laughs> Yo. No, don't dump it over the edge. Damn, bro. I, yeah, this is definitely the way forward, honestly. Getting the values of these ores down a little bit more. Giving us more uses out of all the other things with the production systems. Um, it's just going to, it's going to lead us right into the, um, the processing of these things, right? So being able to make concrete, being able to make, um, steel, be able to make all different things, our, all of our own building blocks, right? So instead of buying them, we had the ability to make them and sell them apparently at some point. So what he said in discord. So, and apparently he said that the logging, there'll be a whole logging side of the game too. So pretty soon we'll be able to go in and like test ground and there'll be trees on it man there'll be so much dense trees we're probably just gonna have to log them first before we even get the equipment in so that's all gonna be cool we've all been wanting that right like i mean i remember that was one of the biggest things people wanted for gold rush was it'd be nice to be able to have a claim but we have to start from scratch one thing i'd like to see is permafrost Ooh, a fat gnarly layer of permafrost like you have dirt right you have dirt layer and then right above right right under the dirt layer there's a fat chunk of like permafrost it's like four feet thick and that shit's got to be ripped you know you gotta rip it with the dozer and then like it takes so many hours in game for it to thaw out and then we can move it and doze it or something like that right that'd be that'd be pretty tight like an Alaska map. Four to six feet of frozen ice and mud. Yep. And then we get down to, uh, then after that, it'd be pay gravel. And then after that, it'd be bedrock and whatever your heart desires to go down. Right? Like, like the mines up in the North, the diamond mines and things like that. Right? So you do all kinds of things with this man, different maps, having different voxel layers and other maps would also be nice to see different layering schemes. Yeah, wait for summer. You rip it the season before and then the next summer you come in and mine it. Yeah, that would be pretty badass, right? You have to go in real, you have to go in and clear cut all the trees. Then you got to pull out the dozers, strip off the crap. Then you got to rip the permafrost. And, uh, yeah, then you got to wait for it to thaw out before you can get in there and start running the pay dirt like we're running now. And then once you get to bedrock, you have the choice. Well, do I want to keep going down? Maybe you find uh, some min other minerals in there that are worth it, like diamonds or stuff like that. You'll start digging deep, right? Maybe do a g big giant core sample or something. You know, there's all kinds of things that you can do. All kinds of things you can do. That's why, you know, I like this genre of game because it's not really been tapped into and no one's really done it really easy and... You know, can I definitely pissed? Dude, bro, that's some shit ass. Well, now that we got a good start on this, 
this mine site here. We're getting a good hang of it. We're really pushing this out here. I mean, I still don't need a, I still don't need a rock truck at the moment. I'm still doing just as good. And I know it's a lot of the same stuff over and over and over again, but we're making good progress and we're stripping a, a nice little area out. Still not comfortable with how close we are to the wash plant, but. Well, my mom used to say, be uh, pissed off and pissed on. Get over it. <laughs> Get over it, bro. Rub some salt in it. Get some dirt and rub it in there, buddy. That always sucks when things come out of the blue like that, right? Hopping to old Bessie. With the frustrations, just watch. <laughs> Poor Bessie. They're like about as they're about as strong as a beer can. Man, we got smashed for that original loan. I don't know when we're going to be able to pay that back. Well, they have to come out here and find me for that loan. <laughs> Bring it on, bank. I'll run over your little uh, surveyors with the, with the uh, loader here. No, they can just remotely shut off your equipment. True. <laughs> the newer stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hurry, hold up. Let's buy a bunch of old stuff with their money. Put some good scoops near. Yeah, I need to grab some water or something, dude. I haven't drank anything in like four and a half hours.
Damn, Oz. That's rough, man. Screw mileage. I want security. Man, we're gonna see 100 likes this uh, stream, dudes. Damn. Let's go. Just keep pushing. Man, it's looking nice so far. I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. I really don't care what I'm running as long as I'm running something. <laughs> right? Like, it was kind of painful before to run pay dirt, right? That's why we made, we made the Mega Sorter. <laughs> Never in the original version, we just started outputting gold. What happens if you run 40 sorters? <laughs> Oh, that was an interesting little... That, that was pretty funny, man. That was pretty good. Building the old gold road, paving the the road in gold and rubies and diamonds, on the original version. <laughs> oh, that's a nice load right there. There we go. There's a lot of coal and box right and stuff like that in there. That looks like that. That did look like a good bucket right there, right? I didn't see hardly any brown chunks in there at all. Nope, no, no poo nuggets on that one. Little strip right here. I can just kind of dig down into this one here. Give it a little rip. Hard there. Okay, come on, stand the bucket, dude. Yeah, I think we're looking for a save and a, a save check here in a second. Was trippers named Poo Buckets? Oh, man. Dude, we've taken a fat chunk out of here today. Heck yeah, man. Loader's going to town. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we got a decent, a D de and we got some, and we got copper. All right, let's take a look here. 13,000. Whoa. Holy shit. That dude, we hit a fat chunk in there. That was some rich, 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 rich stuff right there. And it didn't even look like we had that many gr great buckets in there, but you can just tell like, that's what I'm saying. The new geology patches, just cause it looks like it might be a little certain in your bucket. It might not actually process. It might process out to be way more. Or your bucket look like it may be super full and it processes out to be crap. So it's kind of like, it's, I'm liking it. Now that's the top end, 36,000, which is over 200K. It's top pit so far. And our bottom pit down here is... Yeah, we ran a lot more. Even 14k, that was a good haul. 
That puts us at 227,000. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And this area is like a killing field right here. Look at this pocket in here. Like it's ripped hard with this uh box right. Yeah. A lot of it in here. Look at look at see, look at the node. Dude, that's how you know the nodes are different. Right? Generally you don't really see the nodes. It's just a, just a pure node. You don't see it it normally it run in strips vertically. And you normally wouldn't see a piece like stuck in between these before. Really. But that could also just be a dropped piece right there that merged, remerged back in, which is more than likely the case because but I have seen some of the stuff not run straight or vertical. It does kind of change direction, especially when you use the nuke and you blast, you can really tell. Uh, can you afford a rock truck now? Um, I don't, bl not sure. Let me take a look here. Cheapest rock truck. Vehicle. Uh, no, 414 would be for the uh, AT20. 440. 414. So we got quite a bit of stripping up here to go anyways, too, right? So. Did they change? I don't remember being. I'm sorry, I don't remember the prices actually. Money wasn't even that big of a deal, so I just don't remember. Oh, it used to be the same. Mm. Was it? I'm probably going to hell. <laughs> Damn, bro. They were all 200k on the old map. Am I the only one that misses load lock? Nope, I miss it too. The next update, hopefully, uh, that all gets ironed out, right? So. You tried playing uh update earlier, but it was lagging you out. When you were digging? Weird. It's running like a dream right now for me. On what, I guess? Anytime you dug anywhere with the loader? Do 
was doing it before the patches as well? Or it wasn't doing anything. Oh, that's a big load right there. You haven't played since the new three patches? Uh, so there was a couple hotfixes today. There was a couple hotfixes today. And the geology patch came out today. Uh, before that, if you're talking before the rework, before the rework patch, it was had some really bad performance problems. But the rework patch fixed all of majority of that stuff even for lower end uh, PCs. So I want to try again. I guess it would also really depend on your computer's uh, performance as well too. But I haven't really had any problems with the uh, the game's performance actually. I'm locked at 60 FPS and streaming off the same computer and stuff too, so. Oh, you fixed, you, okay, so you did, okay. You did, you did play the other one. Weird. That's strange, cause I don't, I know nothing was changed with the dirt or anything like that. So, or the loader. The only thing you changed today was the um the drop how high the thing dropped uh dropped from because it was causing people to crash when they dropped in the sh machinery and stuff like that that were on lower spec computers uh internet wouldn't cause you to be doing that it wouldn't be cause you to crash or anything like that the game's performance isn't really anything to do with your internet. Don't normally have the problem. Try running, uh, try verifying the files on your thing and then in on the game. And then after that, restarting your computer and then try and see if, uh, everything's okay. Make sure the game's fully patched all the new version and Uh, yeah, this game doesn't really run too hardcore on your video card. It's mainly CPU where you're going to have a problem. So a 650 super should be okay. Graphics wise, make sure you turn everything down on low. Um, and make sure you're not playing on like a high resolution, but verify your, verify the files and then restart your computer and then try to just dig and uh, see what happens. Rocking and rolling. The only thing he did with the dirt was change it a little bit for the explosives, so. Also, make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date too, as well. Could be a uh, out of date graphics. If he, if he timed it with real life prices, stock market watcher.
Dude, it's so crazy how fast Escape from Tarkov kind of went to poo poo. Once they realized how rampant the cheaters were in it. Like all the big content creators cheating and stuff. I was like, holy cow. I was kind of like chuckling about it. Like nobody, nobody wants to play anymore. Everyone's like, eh, whatever. I was saying all content creators were doing it, but it was just like a massive amount of drama. You just like to play it in single player? Yeah, I never I never really got into it. Just kind of like stayed away from it because I'm not really a fan of that complicated of a shooter. Not to say I would never be able to figure it out or anything like that, but it's just... I just want to get in and get my guns and start shooting, you know, going for it, right? The last update on Out of War was... 9.30 p.m. The day here depends on where you're at in the world just like yeah you felt like they lacked a little bit yeah i agree with that 100 one thing it's kind of like reason why i kind of like PUBG because it was a little slower than something like call of duty but you know all the big content creators playing PUBG kind of ruined PUBG for everybody they got paid money to go play the new call of duty and stuff like that right so of course they're gonna bag on the old shitty game that's not making them that much money anymore right you kind of buried it pubg was pubg was great man back in its its heyday right in the states let's see we just got an update Take a look here. You couldn't get into PUBG? Take a look here. You read it wrong because you just updated it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't think an update came out. I think Christian's asleep. It was getting to be that time for him. Of course, it's going to say 930. Yeah, I was like, I don't think a patch just came out in like the last five minutes. Like, I don't think so. Oh, uh, we got big money ore right here. Told you one plus one equals potato. Damn right, dude. It's okay, man. The WL. It's all good. We got these. No. These. Hello, children. Are Look out, slow children at play. <laughs> you gotta be careful for those slow children. I thought it was potato plus ketchup equals french fry. Or is it Jello? I don't remember. I don't remember my ABCs.
This is a nice bucket if I can keep it in the bucket. Right? All right, I have a question. Is it true that if you order a bucket of KFC, as long as you eat it in the store, you can get a free refill? You have like a limited time. You know, I'm hungry and I'm thirsty, so I shouldn't be talking about food. You guys suck. Talking about french fries now. Damn it. Uh. Maybe in Kentucky. <laughs> KFC of that. Dude, that's how I feel after uh, eating KFC for sure. Except for it's out the other end. <laughs> Look at my stomach got turned inside out, dude. Post a TikTok video saying that, lol. I think that's where it actually has been going around. Somebody said that and I was like, what? Eh. Watch all the KFCs get burnt down. Right in bacon grease. Oh man, we just painted that with uh whatever that is. Looks like a box. Yeah, I definitely need to go get something to drink. I'll be right back actually, I guess.
I'm back too. Freaking thirsty, man. Holy cow. Freaking hot in here. Like 80, 85 in here now. Ugh, gross. I haven't had anything to drink for like the last like five hours. Get some of those fluids. Yeah, I also want to start at this side of the mine too, because starting at this side of the mine, it allows me to kind of get down to the front of that uh, big pit there a little, instead of starting at the side of it, I want to start at this side. So if I'm trucking it up, I can kind of have like a bench layer and I can drive the rock truck down and in there and then drive it back up and out. So. So we don't want to convert this right now. We don't want to convert it with a blast because it's already what it needs to be. All right, so then if we blasted it, we'd have to add on to the uh, the wash plant, which is something I don't really need to do right now. We'll probably be able to pull over a million dollars out of this top section, so. Split drinking on the job. I can hear mixing up that Jack and Coke. Not today. That will be the weekend. Probably going to be having a few beers out by the barbecue. Fire just having a little bit of a relaxing uh, weekend. Probably do some shorter streams on the weekend here this week. And uh, I got to work. So, yay. Let's go. Oh, Meow Fluff, our cat's so mad. She's so warm. She's like, it's hot. Put it down. You don't want to look like a fat, wrinkly nutsack? Damn dopey. <laughs> she just doesn't care about life right now at all. The cat's like, nope. <laughs> yeah, our bedroom, our bedroom is wickedly cool compared to our office and our living room. Right? Don't be mixing up the screwdrivers and drivers and fuzzy navels. Nope. We did way too she did way too much drinking this weekend. You know, wait. Uh, uh. Yep, only one cat. No, no, hell no. I don't want five fur balls in our, our small little place. No way. Oh, one animal at a time now after uh, Jasper passed away. So. Poor thing is lonely. She is more than fine. She is not a friendly to other cats. She's not, uh, she's not friendly to other. She doesn't get along with others. Only us. She got cartoons, yeah. She watches cartoons. She watches cat TV and stuff like that when we're streaming. And she comes over to us, gives us loves, and then she goes back to sleep. <laughs> That's all she wants is food and sleep anyway, so. 
Uh, I think the I think the next animal we'll get after her will probably be a, I'll probably get a Scottish fold munchkin. Taking a break from your game there, uh, Rick. At least your cat doesn't listen to Nickelback to fall asleep. <laughs> Damn, dude. Take a way to blanket at night. Yeah, we, uh, she's, she's getting a little older. So, I mean, she just chills. She doesn't really, she doesn't really, she cuddles a little bit, but not much. Not really a cuddler or anything like that. She just wants a little bit of love and she just kind of, kind of wants to come up and bug us while we're streaming and stuff like that to kind of say hi and help me for two seconds. And then I'm out of here. You were invited to uh, talk about quitting booking as a part of a survey. <laughs> they paid you in a pack, bro. It's been actually a little over a year now since me and Dopey quit smoking. Mm hmm. Expensive nasty habit that's uh holy crap. Thanks, Shane. Damn it, all my damn rocks to keep bouncing out. Going on six years for you, dude. Dude, mad, mad props, man. Go ahead and save game. Oh, man. We pulled a fat haul. Look at that, dude. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. And that honey, those honey buckets. See, right now we're in that mixed ore, but we're getting more of the other stuff than we're getting this. No, it's, it's a little unbalanced compared now. So we're uh, hitting into those pockets, which is really nice. A whopping 6,900. And we got this big bad boy. Oh, look at this one. Oh, oh heck yeah. 48,000 for that, for that, uh, that chunk. Oh, 30,000. Pounds of copper. Guess I'm magnetized as well. well. Hell yeah, dude. That's a good size haul. That's our biggest, uh, biggest thing today yet. Your loader looks camo. Oh man, that's a haul. That's a nice haul today right there so far. Look how much we cleared out here. I mean, I've definitely done a lot of clearing, that's for sure. And since we're not using any uh, hand tools or landscaping tools, we're doing all this by machinery. We need to make sure that... Uh, we keep working and keep uh, running. Go and flatten out some of this so we can drive around on it with the loader without bumping around everywhere. I really don't have a dozer, so I gotta really kind of figure out where we're gonna put, how we're gonna put this road in if we put a road down there. 
no dozer yet, so. I need to get some water in, man. No! Oh. Into my cup of coffee. Oh, we're stuck on that. How am I going to build a ramp? I mean, there's already kind of a natural one right there. Right? Already kind of have a little bit of a natural ramp on this side. Flatten this here real quick. Maybe take the roller over there and see what I can do. See what I can come up with. Very hot for you today in your state. Nope, the big old hot weather monster is coming for everybody. Well, if I can just ride this line, smooth this out, that'd be kind of nice. All right, now hey, that worked. Oh, this thing's not happy. Oh. Hmm. Any wrong quick spoken, uh, cost your 65 hoss. Two cartons. Max. Be 700. Yeah, it's expensive now, man. It's crazy. No, the, the, the map comes kind of pre-dug. It's an abandoned quarry. I, I didn't mine all that. <laughs> Patch day one, number one, guys. I just went ballistic. Dug it all out, dudes.
You like how this map gives you uh, instant access to uh, rock layer? That's been your goal the entire time is just to get to the rock layer before? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna buy blocks here. A wood. I build it out of uh, if ten thousand we could spend. Yep, new patch came out today, dude. All right, we're slowly starting to build the, uh, so we're going to be building the, the road down to the bottom part of the pit. So we got to start getting ready and doing little things here at a time, but just kind of wanted to kind of get an idea of where I was going to be driving and where we're going to need to dump some dirt and uh, stuff like that down here. So All right, we got to be able to get access down here, which will be no problem once we get the, uh, the kind of like get the road put in and stuff and some more dirt for like a rock truck we can get down into this uh, area here see we're kind of up on that hill right now which is fine but we just will uh build our eventually we'll be down here blasting out strips of this he's <laughs> shaking his head at that joke actually no i was just trying to place blocks azure wood You find the voxel lock uh, still isn't that great? No, the voxel, that really wasn't even worked on at all here recently. It was mainly, mainly getting the geology, the map, and the production and everything like that up and going. You know, for the geology, because all these, you know, all the values were changed of what inputs and outputs and everything like that of the plant, as well as the input of these materials, what these values of these materials were. The patch note says the uh, voxel lock was changed. Um, maybe a little bit, but not like a lot, because obviously it's still not quite working. It's kind of like a constant uh, process, man. I don't see it uh, really being any different than it was before, because I'm not getting anything to lock into place, really. Right, so. All right, I think we need to get ourselves a, we need to hurry up and get this rock truck. All right, we need to get a rock truck. We still need the smoother, so we can't get rid of that, but we can't also afford any more floor tiles or anything like that because, well, we need a rock truck. So I think if we can, I think if we can get the rock truck here, that'll be, it'll be helpful to do anything that we want to do down the hill, but uh, we don't really have the wash plant for that though. Right, so we also would need to extend onto the wash plant or the plant and uh, start, you know, having we have to get a crusher, a uh, fractioner, and uh, all those things and a trommel. All
Yeah, it's it, I I see it lock in maybe 10% of the time. So it may lock in like 10% of the time. Other than that, it's like like right there. It's it's locked in, but I had to get rid of all the excess ore on top of it. Right? So I don't know. It's it's kind of uh it's kind of weird sometimes. Still needs a lot more tweaking. Do I know there's plans to add tire tracks eventually? Um I think he said something but i'm not sure he says he said so much things right that yes no yes no so it's 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 hard to actually keep track of nowadays right so that i'm aware of i have not seen anything of recent uh information about it i would assume he will be adding dust i would just assume that he's gonna be adding dust and tire tracks and things like that, right? I would assume. Because all of that really makes the game more appealing, right? Like more immersive. Be the word we're looking for, immersive. It makes the game more immersive when you're playing it. If you see dust and tire tracks and and uh you hear it like when you're when you're dumping the rocks, there's no sound. Right? So that's the only thing that's really bummer is, is that with this type of thing, we might just have this deaf muted sound type of situation going on uh where like a bulk of dirt would have animation triggers and sounds and things like that so we don't really i mean those rocks clattering around like that should be making noise you know when you go in to hit that bucket there should be like a scraping sound and stuff like that but there's nothing right so a lot of that stuff needs to be sound engineered out a lot of a lot of those things need to be worked out for just ambient noises it's extremely important it's so important when it comes to a video game, the sound. Um, this visual and sound are the two main things you're going to look at for a video game, right? So the more you add to it, the more you get immersed. So it's, it's missing a few, a, a few key components uh, there, but like I said, it's still early, so it's not a big deal, right? Like no big deal. Generally, you'd have a sound engineer go over your game anyways, and you just tell them exactly what you want, right? So a sound engineer will go through and look at everything, and then they'll add everything into your game, right? So there's, you just hire them, right? So if it's going to take them, like, you know, 100, 200 hours to go through your whole game and fix all the sounds and make all the stuff sound really nice, you, know, you could pay them, they could, it's a pretty big chunk of, uh, they make decent money, right? So they don't, they're not, they don't ask for a little bit. That's one thing bus sim did very well yeah some games just nail the sounds right the sounds are super important and when they don't get the sounds right it's cringy so we'll see how it goes like a lot of people hate the hydraulic backing up hiss a lot of people are like ugh, the backup the air brake just like too much but that's what they do in real life right like certain models do hiss like that and the talking passengers no 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 You've never heard a loader hissing, uh, certain, certain, uh, Volvos will. Not like that though. This is like excessive. <laughs> this is excessive. I've heard, I've heard a few hiss, a few, a few older models, older nineties. I've heard a few of them hiss, but like, not like this though. That'd be like, take it to the shop. There's a problem. <laughs> There's a problem, dude. Gonna blow. The main hissing you're gonna hear is the air seat. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe my loader is just mad at me because of my giant fat ass. My character's like, I'm fat. <laughs> 
I do. I think I gotta zoom in forever here. Hold on. Look at my guy, dude. He's like, I'm doing important shit, boss. Don't mind me. Oh my gosh. Look at his fingers, dude. Dude, what kind of creepy hands are those, dude? Oh my God. I can't stop looking at his fingers. But you guys never seen that view. Oh, ha ha. Close up view. Dude, I got I gotta zoom off of his creepy fingers. Holy hell. Put some duct tape over this. Man, I want that juicy pay over here. You know what I mean? We want this stuff. Like you really got to stop for these uh, boulders to lock into place. I really wish that once it activated full tilt all the way up, it would lock them in like completely lock them. Like you have to stop and like cross your fingers and hope that it uh, dirt locks. You're out in 20 for uh, cards, dude. Oh yeah, bro. Good luck today, man. Have fun, man. I think the bucket will only lock with the, how many yards it's supposed to have in it. After that, it locks everything else out. Or it's the radius of the lock. But sometimes I've gotten scoops that are way bigger than others, so I'm kind of wondering up with that. Picked up a monthly, uh, good night. Very bachelor man on steroids diving. Like, how do I get this to lock into place? There's a lot of a lot of them that are lock. Oh, there they all go. Oh, goodbye, boulders. It was fun knowing you. How's your game going along over there, Dubby? Having fun? I mean, I guess the real question is, should I start the pit here? Up here. Or just clear the top surface off. It's 
just pre-sorting, keeping only the heavies. That spot's a hot spot right there, man. Pushing through there and getting that cleared up is, uh... Yo, look how much we're crushing out of there. Damn, dude. There he is. Nice. I like that. A thousand dirt. Oh, let's push till we have a two thousand dirt. I guess we should time this. Fat chunk of pay here. So is that like a huge irritation factor for you guys seeing all those things flopping around out of there or or having that uh, happen? It seems like because it seems like a lot of people are like really bummed that dirt lock's gone. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I kind of agree. I, I, I don't really like seeing stuff flying around like that. It kind of seems realistic to you. Yeah, but it seems a little excessive. It's not an irritation. It's just rage inducing. It does seem a little too excessive. Like, yeah, some stuff should fall out, but holy hell, it's a lot. Right? So. Voxels could be smaller. The problem is, is if you make them smaller, then there's going to be need to be more of them, right? So. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. That is true. When something does bug out, they did everything just goes flying. It's true. There's a lot of mayhem going on. Oh, now we're in here at an angle. Hey, can you replace the operator? Me? I mean, I could. I think these are okay size. It's just, yeah, there's a little bit of floppy flopping Medusa around going on. I mean, dude, honestly, the dirt lock was a great solution. The auto dirt lock seems like it's just way more complicated and it's not working quite right. Gotta miss it. I gotta lie, I kind of, I kind of missed the uh, manual. I think they should just take all. I think they should just make, get rid of all automatic dirt lock and just make everything manual dirt lock. But that's me though. I think it's less hassle for them to code it, and it just it gives it it gives us the ability to just stack and pack but some people say that that's not realistic enough or or whatnot but if it's gonna take them a long time to get it all ironed out then i'd rather than them just give us dirt lock back for a while shit just be flying everywhere i mean yeah i could not be bumping over all these things and that but holy hell
you've never actually used dirt lock the original dirt lock dude the original dirt lock was badass I like that. That was nice. But dude, they made the front under front end loader was awesome, dude. Just go in here and fill up. Go like that. Boom, hit your dirt lock and it locks it all into place. Back out and you don't gotta worry about stuff flying everywhere. Those are just extra balls that didn't get locked into place. Look, the bucket's not technically full. It's not sitting in there a little bit. So a lot of tweaking needs to be done. I know, I know, I know it's a controversial topic with the dirt lock. Um, I know a lot of people really like the dirt lock. I'm kind of, I lean towards it as well as liking it only because it's just, it worked. It worked really well. Work real good. I mean, obviously I'm just smashing dirt, so I really don't care. I'm accepting that there's going to be loss out of my bucket. I'm trying to go fast, right? So. The bulk dirt was going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. To get everything working properly and animated and sound and like the visual appearance of it and everything filling up the different levels and layers, it just a lot of work. They're not, maybe not versed into it as well, but it's definitely not an easy thing to put your whole game like that. Everything has to be perfect all your all of your your um your your axis has to be perfect when you're doing those things or things will be popping through the beds or looking weird or there's so many there's so many things to do so and i'm just glad that they set with whatever they're gonna set with at the moment you know what i mean like i know a lot of people hate it i hear a lot of content creators talking about it like oh i just really just don't like the dirt physics it's like but i love this game's dirt physics it's like oh, i just want to palm my face so hard when I hear that. Like, I love Hydroneer's dirt physics. It's like, dude, you do realize that Hydroneer and all these other games use the same dirt engine, right? Or dirt, uh, the dirt plugin for Unreal. <laughs> no, they don't. It's like, oh God. Okay, never mind. Stop in this conversation right now. Yo, what's up, David? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of funny. I mean, the dirt only gets a temporary reprieve from you. I'm going hard at it, man. Just crush it. It's hard to say what will come back in and out, you know? It really depends on what he wants to do and how he wants it to uh to feel to everybody right so all we can do is just make suggestions and based upon what he wants to work on right so go and drop a save Like I know right now, I know that a lot of you guys are very disappointed with the building system. You think it's like half done, right? I know a lot of you guys are, are kind of irritated with the building. Um, there's certain other things you guys are really irritated with. So trying very hard to make sure I go through and kind of look at, and maybe what can be tweaked, uh, kind of give them an, maybe a, a little idea or a few here and there, but, uh, overall it's, um, you know, just people playing it, man corner blocks and inverted blocks i know i made a joke about that 
chat was like, a lot of games have no shit, chat. It was a joke. <laughs> Damn joke. Everybody keeps thinking that the uh, the the loaders need more counterweight in the back. It's no, it's because your bucket's getting stuck under the ground, right? It's that's why it's squatting like that in the front and just jacking you up. It's not because we need more counterweight, because you're digging underneath of something. Put an extra, uh, put an extra, uh, so many tons on the front of your front loader and see what's gonna happen in real life. You're gonna do the same damn thing without how much counterweight you have, <laughs> right? You can't drive around with something that's just massively overweighted just to compensate for it. It's not the fix. It just means like it doesn't happen when you dig properly with it. It doesn't seem to be need counterweight. Like when I scoop in like this and dig, look, perfect. No, no, nothing wrong. But if I scooped in further and there was dirt above it and I try to push up with a full locked bucket, it's going to have problems and it's going to squat and torque and do everything like that. A twerk and whatever you want to call it. Twerk, twerk. It is what it is. I'm out for now. All right, man. Take it easy, Shane. Good luck tonight, man. Good luck. Can we get this rock truck purchased? You're like, no, watch. If I go to lift up, it shouldn't. It will. It'll squat the back like that, or it'll push in. That's kind of supposed to happen. And now look, the dirt lock popped in all, uh, all weird. But that's a giant freaking scoop, right? I mean, maybe the other loaders might be a little, uh, balanced, but I know this one's not. This is mainly the one I use, right? So. Yeah, full load. Let's go. <laughs> chompy chompy, bro. <laughs> Put a big beefer to work here today. Oh, ho, ho, that was a scoop. Look at that scoop. Working like Lady Gaga? Damn. Trying to go for big boy scoops here.
Well, tomorrow's stream, we're definitely going to be, I mean, now that we're cruising, we, yeah, we're cruising pretty good now. Take a look and see what we got here. Gotten gold here. Shutter. ahead and hit uh, save your little we're getting some weird little choppiness so we're gonna go ahead and make sure we save quite frequently we've also been playing this session for close to what's five and a half hours now and we've been pushing feet go and drop a cell here Sell. Uh, yeah, let's go sell uh, gold and dirt and everything down here. Fourteen. Oh, 388. We need how much for this thing? Oh, so much. Oh, so much money. Oh, my God. Let's talk about the lack of underwear. Freaking dude, I loved watching House. Like, we are at. We've made 388,000 so far. Okay. Supposed to buy in our piece of machinery other than uh, what came off the original loan. Okay. I'm just looking at something here. Tab down. All right, guys, just had to read a couple things. Oh, man. You getting hungry, Dopey? A little bit, yeah. Well, I got to get enough money here to get this. Uh... Oh. Got to get enough money here to get this uh, rock truck. We're getting close to it. But, uh, man, getting starving here right now. Barely survived that. And a pizza when it comes to slice of pizza when it comes out of the oven. Yeah, I gotta I gotta slice up some ham and probably make some ham sandwiches and stuff like that. But uh probably probably end stream when we do that. But the main thing is I wanna get this rock truck here today. Operation get the rock truck.
<laughs> I not five fuzzballs. I watch out for them floofs. They attack, man. Dude, what triggers the dirt lock? I'm trying to figure out too. Like, I guess it's just when it gets to a certain fullness. But then other times it's like if you don't hit it, it doesn't work. I've seen a lot of people complain about it too, so. Oh, we're getting closer. Loader, loader, loader. I think the I, I do think the loaders do work the best a little the best though, but I I, I do love using the excavators. And I really need to use the restroom. I will be back here in a little bit, dudes. Sorry about that. Oh, you guys on the break screen, BRB.
Alrighty. Sorry about that, guys. No, let's go ahead and straighten that out real quick here. Thank you for everybody who stuck around. Just you had to use the restroom. You know, sit at the computer so many hours a day. Eventually, you have to go do something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sometimes it feels like you just live your life at the computer, right? You, like, forget to do other things. Especially when you're, especially when you're streaming, you're like, oh, man. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, well, it's okay. Oh, no. I uh, wasn't really trying to dig down there, but I guess I can because I, yeah, I mean, let's take a look here. So as I'm planning, as I'm digging this, we have to rip off the top anyways, right? We got to rip the top off. We got to go all the way over to that ledge. We're kind of following that ledge, right? At some point, it's okay for us to cut down, but we don't want to go too deep. this will be our top uh top geographical location up here like for the placer mining we're pulling a lot of that gold diamond stuff like that out up here off this topsoil or i guess top pay dirt and these uh spread out little nodes yo what's up nick and uh we're pulling that out of here right so I mean, we're making making pretty good progress. We're just running this type of material, right? I mean, could we have hit a million already? Absolutely. There's places where we could have hit a million, no problem. But uh, we're starting to starting to base, starting progress. Okay, drop a save. So far, so good. We haven't had any crazy issues or anything like that. Game seems to be running good. Knock on wood. We can actually start taking this right here. Well, down. That. I mean, I guess the idea would be to grab a rock truck and grab a an excavator. Right, I'm definitely gonna be going for a 530, so we're gonna need a lot of money to grab that. Uh, this is a new save. So we are playing on the new map that just came out today that we showcased the other day with, uh, yesterday with Christian and stuff like in the, in the preview video as well. Also has a lot of stuff to do with the new geology. So we'll be kind of going back and forth chatting about all that today and uh, just kind of just playing, you know, getting after it. Uh, we do still have the other save, the tunnel save, and we're, I'm probably going to still make episodes on that because I know a lot of you guys were invested into that and you wanted to see me do something with that. So we'll probably definitely do something, uh, probably just recordings. I think I'm just going to live stream this and then I'll just do some like a recording once a week on the tunnels. So a tunnel video. But right now we're just going to be opening up a massive pit. We're going to be using all the machinery and we're going to be doing no landscaping tools and we're not going to be using explosives or nukes to tr drop out big amounts of stuff. So we're just going to be doing everything with the no tools. The, the only time we're going to be using explosives is if we're um, blasting uh, hard rock to turn it into blasted rock so we can mine it. So it's definitely going to be something you're going to want to follow along. Keep keep a look out for the uh, the progress of the uh, mine site and how everything's going. And and we're not starting off with everything all crazy. We're kind of going in a little slow. So right now, our first task, we took a million dollar loan, right? We took a million dollar loan. We got a basic setup for just cleaning. We got a little wash plant down there. We got this big, gigantic loader. It's been beasting out the dirt for us. We've been obviously beasting on it because it's, well, like it's broken. It is. Yep. Now we've been running pay and moving this all out. We've moved a lot of dirt actually today so far. A lot more than I thought I was going to move.
But we're clearing this upper area and we see these little spot node that goes all the way down to that cut. Where that's where we're, this is where we're mining up here. We're gonna also going to start on the bottom side of the mine as well. And then up here on this upper area is just going to be our nice big pad area and stuff. We'll make access roads for rock trucks. All that good stuff. So we still got, now we got to acquire all the equipment. I mean, on the previous save, we would have already had, we would have already had all the equipment. Because everything was so crazy priced, right? So, but now we got to work for it. So it's kind of, it's, I'm really liking this right now because it kind of, it's like a precursor to the uh, progression and leveling that's probably going to come in the later uh, months of this, like maybe like third or fourth quarter, hopefully. That's our work wall right there. You see the, uh, the layer in it. That's all pay dirt. That pay dirt has a lot of gold and diamonds and rubies and things like that in it, Jade. But our big money seems to be coming from these really rich spots that are speckled in the ground. Yeah, rock truck means we can actually drive somewhere and, and mine something and, and drive it back. So that'll be a game changer for our mine, right? But a lot of prep work on the uh, the mine site here. Got to get home base built, right? Let's pop it up. Now we're not too far from the rock truck. Time to lay down some more courtyard. Courtyard. Flip turn. Good morning. Oja. This poor loader. Can we get some love for the loader in chat? <laughs> Replanting for the building? Yeah, the only reason why I'm not adding more, extending it out there, because I don't want to lose all that material that's being dropped. If I put down the flooring, it'll lose it. So as we're kind of like extending out i can only extend that once i extend out far enough then i can floor but i also need money for the uh i also need money for the uh the rock truck right because we got to get mobile and right now we're not really mobile because i can't get the pay back here i mean sure i could build a bunch of conveyor belts everywhere but that costs money too right so nope never did a chain not yet
And that's how you know your dirt lock engaged is when your butt lifts up and you can't get out. It engaged. Ah. I'm just mur <laughs> massacring this area over here. Oh man, it's so messed up. Good old payloader. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Still don't think I, I just can't afford it yet. Oh, actually, we got quite a bit of coal and everything now in there. Oh, baby. Good. All right. Checking out where the shuttering's happening right there. It's something to do with the wash plant. Something performance wise in the wash plant. A little weird. Could be something else too. I'm not sure, but also could be because I'm safe, been playing for five hours and haven't uh, closed it. Yo, what's up, Glenn? Oh, we have the money for the rock truck now. Oh, baby. Every clinking and grinding coming off those, the diff boss. You got the mud swamp loader going. Well, we can just combine this in. So we're up to $435,000 made for the day and we can afford a rock truck. Also sell this as well. Sell this dirt. Got some diamonds. Boom, 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 boom. And slap that into place. That gives us 430, 400, oh, dyslexia. 443, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousand, holy cow. Okay, um. Hmm. I guess we can only go for the small little buddy. This is who we wanted today. Boom. What's up, bro? Hell yeah, dude. Let's go for a ride, bro. We need to bring the roller down here though. Okay, that's a good that's gonna be our road. Just just like that. Because he won't be able to get back up here.
Yeah, if we don't flatten out these ridges, he won't be able to get back up. That's a good enough little area. Good enough area for now, right? Should be able to get back up that. Let's smooth this out here real quick. Looks a little bumpy. Take her down to the, uh, take her down to one of those big rich spots down there and, uh, load her up for a few times to see what hauls out. I mean, obviously we don't have the, uh, the rest of the plant equipped, but if we hit a pier node. We might be able to, oh no. Is there a way down right here? Oh, it looks like I gotta make a little bit of a road everywhere. Oh, that hurt. That was painful. Let's get this uh, down there. Let's knock those out so we can. That way we have a path down and back. All right, so we can come. We can come down the the, the quarry, and eventually we'll start chunking this all out. Right, so we'll build little roads on the upper end. Can't get. Can't really get over those ridge lines. Right, so need to smash them down with the uh, loader. Or, uh, the, sorry, the, uh, there we go. Brush this down here real quick. That way the rock truck can drive back over it. I don't want to get our equipment stuck in the hole. And then we'll just do the same thing here on this end also. Should be good enough.
And we're going for a drive. <laughs> you can buy something and stick it into the ground. I mean, eventually we'll just have marked out paths with like uh, actual roads cut into the, the hillside, right? So we will be completely changing this uh, this landscape over here over the uh, the time. But right now, oh no, there's a piece right there. No, it goes even deeper. Yeah, we can ride up here, I think. dangerous around here come on hit this thing into high gear let's go <laughs> get it moving hey we are only 10 likes away from 100 likes on the stream dude thank you guys very much appreciate that dudes it uh, looks like we're gonna need to uh come on in here and um Oh man, look at the, look at that freaking node. Node's a monster. Still even all broke up. Hell to, yeah, what is that? What is this stuff? Oh, right. Now we're talking. Things so far away from where we're at though. It's like, oh, this is coal. That's a giant coal node. Holy hell, dude. Look at the size of this freaking node. It goes all the way up here. It's all it's all like stretched out in the side of this hill. Goodness sakes, dude. The spotted node beats business. Be anything else around here like this? I, mean, I can't really I can, but I can't dig in here right now. A bummer. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to that area. I'll tell you that much. Crap. Well, I don't know if I can like drive up the side of this. Maybe. Oh yeah, Rock Chuck don't care about no one's feelings. Drive right over it. Me, I'm using the, um, I'm using the, uh, uh, conveyor, the sorter. Yeah, that's a big node. Oh, what the hell is that? Hit something. It made my truck go dumb. Yeah, I'll go. I'll break down what it is. That's going to be a hell of a truck up here. That's going to be a fun run though, dude, to simulate that, right? Might have to get multiple rocks, rock trucks, fill them up and then run them up. All right. And then boom, dump in off the, over the cliff. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Park our, our big boy, trusty rusty over here. Still don't quite need him yet. So we'll just have him, uh, chilling. 
All right, so I'm doing copper straight to the sorter and then the lower, since that's where the dirt and everything comes out. Dirt and pay dirt comes out of here. Put that uh, wash plant in a little wonky. You know what, guys? I'm going to have to do this real quick. I got I have to test something here. I have to test something out. Something's being a little weird. It's giving me a quite a bit of FPS drops right there. I might, I got to see what's going on with it. Rain's going to mush real quick. Landscape tear down. I have to see if this is just cuz it's buried see if the lag goes away I don't think it is but it's holy shit that is an FPS killer something's wrong with that that's not that is new to me okay yeah, yeah, yeah. something's something's not happy with the wash plant it's a uh, got a massive FPS drop right when I look at it right Ouch. Did you test what's in the node first? Realism? Yeah, that's uh that's that's odd. Yeah, we're getting a wicked pull on FPS by looking at this thing. Right there, you can actually see it happening, right? Something right there that's making it wanna be weird. It's the first time I've experienced that, actually. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll be doing that node later. That's that's so far down the road, right? So, the first thing is going to be keep grinding this upper bench. Okay, sorry to answer your question. Yeah. So we it's when you see the top riffle, the top riffles make it lag. Something there. Got to call it though, bro. Well, at least you got some good games, man. Okay. So yeah, pretty much I'm going right out of the sorter on the bottom. And what we'll do is we'll look at that and we'll go into where are they at? Hold on. Where are they? They are in the info. We're going to go down to the or here sorter all right so sorter this is why you want to run your sorter first is because any material goes in right the top port everything else bottom is dirt and pay dirt right so since we're running a lot of dirt and pay dirt right we need the sorter to sort out the, the crap Right, so well, which is not really crap anymore, which it would be crap, but the wash plant now turns it to not crap. And that's what's gonna be ending in this box here. Is well, the good stuff. Right. So when we look in there, there'll be things like dirt, gold, things like that, right? So dirt is always just dirt. But we wanna we you wanna get the dirt out of the system as fast as possible. Right. So you have that's why you have the sorter. So all the dirt and pay dirt go out this chute and then into the, the wash plant. Top one, just run a conveyor right to the thing, unless you're running, uh, unless you need to sort and you're going to sort and buy everything all off the bat, right? So that's just this little basic setup right now. Just a little basic setup so we can get running and start to uh, slowly start to uh, buy some equipment and get the mine site a little bit bigger and get it up and running and clearing land that we need because this was all, well, all the way up to here, right? This was like, you see the original, uh, line right like the line that it followed right here so we've chomped a lot out of here today go down and rescue our equipment so i could have done this hold on yeah eventually when the game gets super super polished out and, and uh everything's really good to go I'm just gonna be doing um, like a like a survival series style on uh, out of war, right? So 
kind of try to mimic it a little bit more closer to this one now so something a little fun to do i'm not worried about the project taking massive shape right away so one little thing at a time it also gives me time in my brain to really 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 work on how it feels you know what i mean so when i'm talking to christian about it and you know, like when we're theory crafting and you guys are we're all talking about it uh sun's tomorrow or staying out of ore um i'm probably gonna throw it another day of out of ore um tomorrow since you know it's fresh patch take it easy mitch have a good night man so we'll be building out this road saving up money for a um an excavator Probably going to go for a 530. Yeah, I think, a, I think a 530 is a wise choice. Just go with the 530. Go with the big boy that I like. Yeah, and then we'll figure out something. Uh, we got to get everybody together for another uh, log run, I guess. Get everybody uh, going. So we got to kind of schedule that. We'll figure out something like that in the VIP chat. Or uh, getting some more of those logs done on Sons of the Forest. Um, I'm not sure how many days it is away till the, the next forest patch. So new clue I haven't checked yet. So. And we gotta fix this up over here. This is horrible. Bomb went off. Looked like a big old bomb went off, but no bomb went off. Either the 10th or the 11th. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thanks for looking, man. Appreciate that, dude. You're waiting for the big build on the, the forest? You're waiting for us to use up all those logs, huh? Well, now we got this monster uh, project save. And we got Sons of the Forest, which is a monster project. Um... And then I'm going to continue to play, um, what's it called? Hydraneer. So I guess a lot of decent games on the channel right now. This, uh, this season here, huh? We got, uh, Hydraneer. We got out of war and sons of the forest and some other random games mixed in, mixed in there that dopey's playing seven days. Oh no, 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 no. Don't lose the roller. I don't have anything to flip you over, bro. Just come on, man. You can make it. Just squatty, squatty potty. Listen, I will get the front end loader to come over here and push you. Oh, you're stuck now, dude. You can do it, bro. I believe in you. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, you did it, buddy. You almost got trapped there for a second.
<laughs> no, don't go in the hole. Damn it. Dangerous mine site today. Woo. Holy crap. No, 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 it's because we're, it's because we're getting, we're undercutting. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, he's just doomed from the beginning today. Oh, he's just... Oh, no. What was that? Oh, gosh. Go forward. I promise it'll be okay. Oh, uh, we're doomed now. Now we're doomed. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll save him. I promise we'll save him. Come on, buddy. It's safety. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Things are all right. <laughs> yeah, we need toe lines. <laughs> yeah, teamwork. Woo! Hell yeah. All right. So next big piece of equipment that we're looking for. Since we're not mining down in the bottom pit for the next few sessions. I think the next session we should do, we should save up for now that we have a rock truck and we can haul material and we have a loader, which can load material into it. We really don't need excavator, but we should get one. Why? Then we can start going down a lot easier and loading into the truck and doing things like that right so but we gotta be careful to not make a mess because if we make a mess then well we don't have the terraform tools using them so yay so let's take a look at the vehicles i'm thinking possibly just the big boy just going for the 530 right the, five, the 530 right off the bat it's like the workhorse of the claims and I don't know. I just like it. I like the 530. I mean, we could also go, we have the 500. Where, where is it at? We do have the 500, but that's more expensive. I really? Should I go for the 500 or should I go for the 530? They use the same bucket, right? Let's see here. Bucket capacity, three ton. Main machine used for loading into dumpers. Yep. I think the 530 is the smart choice. And then, well, a dozer is just absolutely insane. Oh, we don't need a crazy dozer, though, do we? I don't think we do. I mean, an 800 would be nice. I would like to go for an 800, but that's going to be a little later. I think we're going to be doing a lot of dumping gravel or dumping and smoothing. Dump smooth, dump smooth. But we do need to get a dozer because our first detonations are probably going to be we go to detonate some of that stuff down there and break up that uh, bedrock. It's going to be a little on the expensive side, but that's okay. It'll give us a lot of work. So what I'm thinking is, is once we finally get down here with a loader, we're obviously going to need to, we're obviously going to need to mine out a trench like right here. 
All right, so we're going to need to move all of this dirt along that line and all the way to this line over here. So all of this is going to need to be cut. It's going to be, this is going to be the front of our cut, right? So we'll have all of this all the way pretty much to this line right here. We're going to have to dig this all out. It's all going to have to be dug out and run up the hill into the box, into the plant. But before we get to that point, we have to upgrade our plant. So we still have to keep digging on the top. We still have to get an excavator. We still have to get the fractioner. We still have to get the jaw crusher. We still have to get more storage. We have to get more everything. So nothing I can do until I earn about another $2 million. <laughs> so we just got to keep running this upper pay on this upper uh, bench, which is good. It's, it's paying out for us. We just bought a brand new truck truck. So that'll help us uh, move pay later on. Like I was saying, we can do a lot more work with this uh, this front end loader, All right? So we have so the plan is is we're going to be going, we're going to be sticking with the the plan here. We're going to be moving following this line right here. So this line right here is what we're following. We're going to cut all this out. We've already made a pretty good dent in it today, and well, a lot of stuff slowed us down, but tomorrow we'll be able to push a lot of yards uh, through the plant. But the plan is to go all the way up here and cut all the way all the way down to here, right? This is where home base is going. Once it's all flattened out and platformed like that, and we get a nice mine entrance to this area right here, right? You can see the line kind of goes this way, right? You can kind of follow it. it. Goes down in there and emerges with the other cut. So we're gonna turn this into a fat cut whenever we feel like mining a uh, plasher. And we're probably gonna go down right around this area here somewhere and make this area first match up with that area down there at the lowest, one of the lowest valley points down here. So we got a lot of distance to go down. Up there, we got a lot of material to run. That's a ton, that's absolutely a ton of, tons and tons of material. So there's there's so many areas that we're gonna be able to work on this mine site and uh, you know keep our little progression slash story going for hopefully as long as possible. But like I said, keep in mind, any massive patches that come along that make us really want to change maps, we probably will. So don't get super set like crazy, crazy on one save that we're playing, especially for the season while the game's being worked on like super crazy, right? Because the game, the game's constantly changing and we always want to make sure we're playing on the good stuff when we're logging tons of hours, right? Definitely don't want to, uh, you know, stick around on an old save when there's new cool stuff to play with, right? But don't, don't worry, though. We will definitely be making a really good save uh, once the game gets more polished out and more things kind of come into the game and all the good good, good stiffs. And so I just want to pop out a terrain tool and just be like, smooth, 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 smooth. No, we're not doing that. But, dudes, I definitely need to go get some food. I know Dopey's probably getting really hungry, too. Uh, are you getting pretty... Oh, okay. She's already kind of doing her thing real quick anyway, so we'll kind of wrap this up. Um, how did you guys uh enjoy the uh the everything going on, right? Let's take let me take a look at Discord see what you're doing. Seems like uh all the rage kinda cut down a little bit. Seems like you know what I mean? People were a little flipping out this morning. But uh good to see Christian getting everything hot fixed in and stuff like that, dudes. I like I said, I had an absolute blast uh doing the doing the uh the q a with christian and you guys and doing all that stuff so five more likes dude five more likes <laughs> that's what we need i'm i'm getting starving man i'm just like mm. yeah so letting dopey under stream dudes but yeah So, the casino game? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Okay, sorry, the guys had to end Dopey stream. But yeah, dudes, it's been fun. It's been great. We'll definitely be playing a ton of more Out of War. Obviously, you guys, smash the like button. Leave a comment after the, after the live stream's done saying, I was here, it was fun. 
blah, 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 blah. Comments definitely help content creators. Help us out, man. If you guys like, if you guys like watching out of war and you want out of war to be expanded more to maybe some bigger content creators, possibly playing it again, go out and say, yo, bro, you guys should play out of war. Check it out because it, it does definitely help when there's a lot of people checking out the game and uh, bringing more light to it. I think it definitely deserves it. And you know, thanks for the good times, man. Dude, thank you, man, for coming and uh, hanging out, bros. Yeah, I got to get some food and go kick back with Dopey for a bit, but we'll definitely put a nice banger in tomorrow now that kind of like I got my sleep caught up a little bit and kind of get my schedule back on track. So and now we know what we're doing with the mind site. So definitely uh, make sure you post pictures in Discord. You can join ours. You can join Spotting Company. Uh, definitely post your guys' screenshots of what you're doing. Yeah, the links are in the description below. If you haven't hit that like button, bros, hit that like button. But other than that, dudes, be safe. Happy digging. And if you have any questions, uh, hesitate to ask. Catch you guys uh, tomorrow. Peace out, bros.